Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Puff Geek here, joined by... What up, guys? It's David here, and we've got two very special guests for you today. Very special. <laughs> <laughs> and straight away, we've got a new heel for the show. Introduce yourself. I'm Kev, and I'm somewhat short. Somewhat short. Somewhat short. I am Kevin. I am somewhat short. I'm not Terry and short. <laughs> not Terry and short. Hashtag somewhat short. Yes. And the man to his right. I'm Paul. You may remember me. From louder, the- louder, 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 louder. <laughs> I'm Paul. You may remember me from the Crystal Maze. Oh yes, of course. You are. You're on the. What episode is it? Episode one. Episode one of the newest, of the newest Crystal the newest Maze. Series. That's pretty nice. Now we're gonna market this as like with special guests from the <laughs> Crystal Maze. Well, aren't aren't you um, one of the very close runners up to a recent uh, cosplay convention as Deathstroke? I uh, wasn't allowed to take part, unfortunately, because I didn't build eighty percent of my own costume. Milk it, man. Milk it. Uh, as much as I'd love to milk it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm setting you up. You meant be like, yeah, absolutely. I but was then really one close. of the listeners be like, that bastard didn't fucking compete. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. We're, we're, we're doing a geeky podcast, so sort of be like, right, who's this kid motherfucker? Deathstroke. Uh, he did wasn't the, even entered. Did Fuck that finish. guy. <laughs> did not finish. Didn't finish. Didn't finish. <laughs> Wires. He came up short. Uh, well, somewhat shocked. However, <laughs> you genuinely were on. You genuinely were on Crystal Maze. I wonder if I should move the the laptop closer. So this is probably going to hurt you folks' ears, maybe. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> Have you not established that Ian's not on it, so he ain't listening. This well, is you are listening. Special. But if, if you, <laughs> we should just write that Tarantino special or. Um, did, you hear, did we talk about that on a podcast? We did, once? yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember if we talked about it on it or not. Wish we had the number to tell people what to listen to. <laughs> I wish we did as well. What, the number to tell people what to listen what? to? The, the number, oh, the, the number of that? Oh, fuck. It was a few episodes ago. A few episodes what ago. was that? It was yeah. in the. In listen the, to one, all the podcasts. It was in the 140s, I believe. Right, okay, what else happened in the said podcast? Hey, why are you asking me? I'm asking, it's an open <laughs> question to the room. Well, we, we ragged on Ian for a whole bunch, um, talking Got about by something else. his love of Pulp Fiction and other Quentin Tarantino films. I Which think are we also... great films, but if you're going to base your life on nothing but Quentin Tarantino, you're going to love nothing else, really, are you? Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of maybe ragging on Chris Nolan, I feel like. We Probably, yeah. Went some of that. <laughs> And Martin Scorsese. Was it Defenders review by any chance, or was it? No, I feel like it was earlier, man. Ben Affleck, like... not Batman. I think it, it might was... be before that as well. Oh, yeah, wow. and I think it was one when Steve was there, so it can't be. It can't be. It was probably a Game of Thrones one, actually. So you actually, got... right, well, actually, like, actually. actually. <laughs> no, no idea. Word, word of the day. Hashtag Check out the actually. Game of Thrones hall at the at the bo- the. <laughs> oh! Yes, I was sure it was going to be me, but it's not. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> You hear the one you won't have heard this, the, the, like Steve's one where he like was on for the first time. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> I had a high benchmark to beat. I think I did it. Just dude, Kev's ragging on you. He's totally ragging on you. Come in, blast him with both barrels. Yes. <laughs> he's going up he's, there. He's, sit, he's sitting in your fucking seat. You know, you're not here now. Suddenly Kev's here. What's happening? The paranoia is kicking in. Ooh. Well, he's not going to be here for the rest of the year, so, you know, maybe we need to revise our numbers. <laughs> or change to Wednesdays. So that's that's, that's inconvenient for everyone. Which is, though. which is, it is, hmm? That's inconvenient for everyone, though. Could well be. Uh, um, it's also... This feels like, like the end of the week because I ch- I generally um, work an office day tomorrow, you know. So it's kind of like uh, you 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 said the other week when we did a Wednesday, it, it really messed me up. up. <laughs> it probably fucked me up. I put on my own clothes to go to work the next day and I had to go get changed. You think you need to explain why that would be weird? Wait, I did last week. Okay, but they might not have listened to last week because some people why are not? some people are dicks. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I I love all the fads. Don't be like this isn't in the same script. Because <laughs> uh, on Fridays it's casual Friday. 
But I thought Thursday was Friday and I got all shades of confused. Man, <laughs> what would happen if you went in and your casual clothes? Well, not anymore, man. Yeah, it's it turns out. Down, it, yeah. It's dresses you're comfy all the time now. As of this morning, and he's been straight on it. <laughs> My idea is this what you wore to work? No, I, 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 I was scummier than this. I just had this like faded orange t shirt on. No, you'd not. Yeah. So. Yeah. How can you. What so, is this new thing about just no uniform at work? How are you meant to know who the fuck works there? They work like in an office where no one ever sees them. Yeah, he's got a point. Plus, you cannot get in the building unless you work the security. I mean, you don't know they work there because they're all dressed casual as fuck. Yeah. I also love that you think that him putting on a shirt makes him work any harder (laughs) than when he has a scummy orange (laughs) t-shirt. I think it it does have some sort of effect. Uh, For the majority, but not for him. Oh, well. (laughs) Well, you and your line manager. It's, it's a nice even zero. So anyway, why are we here today? Here to talk shit about your brother. Uh, it's Peter Palmer, so. Make fun I think of Steve. Covered yeah. those already. Make He's fun of Steve. Rip you a, bit here Rip you a little bit. These new guys are coming in and just like slapping us in the face with a dick. Say, hey, you're next. They just can't quite get up to that. I don't height. think they're tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fall somewhat short. Yes. <laughs> Bring it back. You've got, all, you've got all the Jerry Lawler short jokes, haven't you? <laughs> I've heard them all. All every single one. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a while for them to travel down to me, but I hear them all. Yeah, you'll need to let them know if it's raining. I will. I will do. Well, I think we're going to talk about uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, never heard of that, I think so. Episode, uh, season 7, episode uh, 8 and 9, yeah? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, because yeah. we're protecting the future Those right were now. my favourite ones. Yeah. <laughs> they were the bestest. <laughs> the bestest. The writing was far superior to the previous seven. The pacing was far superior. <laughs> yeah. It was far superior to season 6. Because did I hate season six or you what? Really hated season did six. Did you hate season six? I th- I, I didn't really mind that it either. was not great, but it was salvaged by the last two or three episodes. Oh, definitely. No, hated it. Um, he got it in his head. That's his opinion, motherfucker. He's gonna stick to that opinion. I'm gonna Stop grind that <laughs> shit. Pretty much. Like I wasn't even looking ball, forward to Game of Thrones up. season seven. Right. So <clears> when <throat> did it peak for you then, Game of Thrones? Thrones. Four. Yeah. Four. I think so as well. Yeah, the whole Tyrion trial and everything was just mm, was so good. excellent. I was yeah. acting. That was um, proper drama. I think a lot of people kind of agree that once you removed Charles Dance that played Tywin from the show, yeah. it kind of dipped. I mean, how do you remove someone just so epic as an actor and as a character? Mm-hmm. You know, you remove that and you don't really replace it with anything telling. And I think this is where Thrones is now really starting to struggle. I actually think it's all been about the villains. Yeah. This show. Yeah. And with Tywin gone and Joffrey gone, it was Ramsay on his own, pretty much. Who was phenomenal. The show. Yeah. It was phenomenal. The High Sparrow was okay, but now he no was just no one's, no one's ever really going to look back and think, who, you know who was great? A high fucking Sparrow. No. But the High Sparrow infuriated me in a different yeah. sort of way, where yes. I just wanted, I really wanted to I get him. Punch that pious prick in the face. Some, well, it takes something incredible to actually get you to feel bad. For Cersei, as she's walking yeah. through the streets, yeah. you know, getting and That's true. waved in her face and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Morty Dicks. Oh Hashtag my gosh. Morty Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that advert. One of you guys tagged me in today. It was maybe you, Kev. Could have been. Um, the shame advert with yeah. the mountain. <laughs> and uh, I think it was Steve that tagged me. The girl is actually pretty hot, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's she called? What was she? Septonella. Yes, yes, yes. So is the that one, one that the mountain raped? Yeah. Or, she's well, we don't know that's Jesus. exactly what happened, but. That's oh, I what forgot happened. about that. That makes that advert even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's shaming them. <laughs> ah, okay. Right. I think I need to. Shame. We need to share that on the page, actually, just to make things real easy. Who's that speaking to you? That was Steve. That was Steve. Please stop ripping on me. No. <laughs> it's well, not. It's not real time. Unfortunately. He knows. He knows. He's bugged. Bu- he's bugged the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> he could do that, right? Because he, he did he not build an Iron Man suit? What? Yes, he is. I should probably stark. stop ripping yes. on him at this point. No, he, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't build an Iron Man suit. He bought a fuck ton of them of Hot Toys. Oh, right. He's that was so I thought he was. See, a that, pseudo that, that almost cosplay professional sized, so I'd be able just to like piece together an armour very very quickly <laughs> unlike you regular sized people yeah Tyrion would love you eh <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be looking up as much you know just one or two steps instead of the six steps he has to stand on when I live with normal people 
it took me turning to Theon and saying, <laughs> yeah, this is a new dwarf joke. I have not heard this one before. <laughs> <laughs> There's still shit, though. All dwarves are bastards. Are yeah, they? So they're fellow. And they're fellow. Yeah. Yeah, also. Okay, so <laughs> I heard we were going to talk about some theories. Because you've been writing some mad theories on the website, yo. Theories I got. Writing, <laughs> sorry, plagiarising. Plagiarising? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> There's been some originality. So I've reworded I, I, everything. I believe you have some serious theories, serious queries. Yes. Yeah. How long did you spend figuring About that out? Three seconds. And All right, that's not too bad. It. I just get it out there. Yeah, How am I going to work? <laughs> well, you guys have both got some, the some theories, right? Theories. Serious theories. About the series. Oh, oh, God. So. <laughs> my brain. Well, I was thinking this idea that I came up with before the podcast aired was structure. Yeah, and we go through each character in order. That sounds fun, but also we could go totally off piece and just <laughs> run the line. <laughs> I'm down with that, yo. Um, <laughs> just I, listen to the show. <laughs> yes, I, I like the idea of trying to do some sort of structure and mm-hmm. failing. Yes, let's see. I messaged Steve and said, "Steve, you're getting ripped." And he's just come back with ripped and swole. Nice. <laughs> so I think we should let him off just for that alone. I think so. Steve gets a reprieve for the rest. Nah, fuck that. If we want to slate him, we'll I'm slate not going to promise anything. A reprieve for the Steve. I, personally, I'm actually really sad that uh, I've not seen Steve tonight. Because you get to see him at work, don't you? I, I did. I seen him today in the gym. Nearly broke him. <laughs> that was in the showers. That was before <laughs> and after the gym. Hey boy! Hey boy! You look mighty cute in them jeans! No, David, no! <laughs> For a minute there, I thought he was actually in the room. It's just uncanny. It's another one of my many skills. It is! Making cosplay outfits, plagiarising, I mean, writing <laughs> articles. <laughs> no one plagiarises like I do. Making no one does. Jokes. Right, well, you said you had a, a they theory. They were actually quite long. Oh, God. <laughs> Making short dad jokes. jokes. We got short jokes. We got dad jokes. What jokes do you do? Crystal maze. Crystal maze jokes. <laughs> I, thought we were Fair. Crystal Myth I know two people have been on the crystal maze now. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard Iwadi and Paul. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes, I'm a connected guy. It's pretty sweet. You said to me something about a twin. Yeah, and the, the most recent article I posted on the website was covering the secret twin of Jon Snow. Now, I'd heard this before, but I, I quite liked reading the detail on it and someone actually, like, basically spelling it out for me. <laughs> okay. It's probably the most, like, <laughs> hashtag it's Steve. There he goes. <laughs> <He's joking. laughs> Breaking right, no, no more. No more. <laughs> uh, it's done. No more. No more. We've got to get Steve right. laughing on every podcast. Uh, theory, theory, the theory, theory, theory. Back to the theory. Sorry, it's yeah. probably the one that has the least evidence supporting it, but it also has the least evidence kind of against it as well. So, you know, it's a win win. Okay. There's no real concrete evidence to say that John has a twin, but there's also nothing that really specifically spells out saying that Liana gave birth to one child. Especially in the book, since you know they've not seen that yet. Oh, no, there was someone else in the show who <laughs> looks extremely like him. So hey, yeah, hey, let's guy. go with that. It's hard to say that they're going to cast someone that looks so strikingly like Kit Harrington and not play with that. It kind of feels like have they cast she's someone? Like the, she's like the manly version, isn't yeah. she? Nira Reed, who helped. And I Brad wish I could North remember the world. actress's name, but I cannot. She started following us on Twitter. No, no, there's a there's a, there's a there's a fake uh, house everything on Twitter. Like yeah. there's, there's this family of Mira characters. Reed. Yeah. She was the one who once Hodor had met his end, dragged Bran back south to the wall. Yeah, yeah, and she 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 came up to Bran a couple of episodes ago, like, I'm away and said, like, Okay, bye. Cheers. It's just like, is that it? <laughs> is that all you've got uh, to say? Yep. Is it oh, no no, that's not her. Why don't you go to Wow, her? Yara Greyjoy looks kinda of Feminine in this picture here. Imagine that. Damn, yeah. Female that looks feminine. Well, it's like it's, it's like a dying breed. breed. It's, it's a dying breed, isn't it? Um, uh, probably is actually. <laughs> but let's not get into the whole go, the website debate. You go to is the podcast blog dot wordpress dot com. Oh wow, I'm on it already. Brilliant. You go on there and look for. I've got a picture of her. She's in That's the, super uh, handy. I, I've got everything for all. Wait, have you had four articles this afternoon? Not. Were you off today? No. 
I've been, okay. on, I've been on holiday this last two weeks, but that's not the point. Okay. <laughs> that's not the point. He's been taking two weeks off to build up to the film tonight. Oh, fuck her. She does kind of look like him in that picture, right? So you really shouldn't fuck her then. I mean, why not? You've seen the picture. They've, they've I, probably... I don't know. Kit Harrington's got quite a peachy arse. That arse. Though. He's got a Fibonacci <laughs> arse according, according to the internet. <laughs> That's some that's something for the maths geeks for it. Uh, you know, all <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so fill it in for the people that so, aren't going to read. <laughs> so that'll be you then. Well, that's <laughs> why. That's why I do podcasts. <laughs> I do talking, and that is sometimes it. Yeah. Um, Occasionally, I write articles. The, the rest of the evidence is pretty circumstantial. Um, the two survivors of the Tower of Joy fight were Ned Stark and Howland Reed, Mira's father, well, maybe. And when they found Lyanna, she was dying in a pool of her own blood, giving birth. Now, childbirth would probably be fairly fatal back in those days, but she was married to a prince. Not that everyone knew about it. He's going to be able to provide the best kind of health care anyone's really going to get. Surely the only thing that could kill someone in that situation would be giving birth to two kids at one time that can't be pleasant I wouldn't know <laughs> okay. Child, childbirth's fucking easy by the way you think so? oh yeah yeah I've, as, I've as, watched, as a man I would expect you to know I've, all about it Well, I <laughs> the, the missus push two babies out in a total time of two hours fifty minutes so she's fucking this wasn't rapid. in a medieval setting though no you know. like Emily came out so quickly she shouted we <laughs> Hashtag <Really>? clean. <laughs> just, just on a side note, okay. So women will be like, "Yeah, I'd have another kid," mm-hmm. and they'll have two, three, whatever. So have you what guy? Ga- exactly. Mm-hmm. When have you been kicked in the dick and you said, "Do you know what? I could I'd go do that." Around of that. Yeah, just <laughs> hit me hey, up for Rochambeau. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, <laughs> I've gone first. So you think that basically John and Mira were split up, kind of a la Star well, Wars? It's quite. Uh, a circular way of going uh, but um, we've got a quote from Alfie Allen who uh, plays Theon Greyjoy in the show and he'd spoken to George Martin and asked about the Jon Snow parentage and was given the the truth much before many other people were and he, when asked about it himself he said it's quite a Skywalker situation uh, now, yeah. that, oh right okay and that could mean nothing more than John was taken away and raised away from the danger. And He's going to lose his hand. <laughs> he will probably lose his hand because, you know, Skywalkers, they don't like having both hands, apparently. Bullshit. Whoa, I, okay. I see that as the whole Daenerys is the one Targaryen, the fire against the ice, blah, blah, blah. And then the Obi-Wan to Yoda comment of, no, there is another yeah. being John, being the other Targaryen, rather than Mira being some secret twin. In the books it makes more sense because they're about the same age, John and Mira but John's been, well a lot of the characters have kind of been made four or five years older for the show Yeah, because so it's easier to handle yeah, than, yeah. than I you, don't know, you, try, you, trying you to rape have, Khaleesi who's you can't have 11 a yeah, You can't have like 14 year old Daenerys getting absolutely owned by Khal Drogo in episode least, one. That's your thing but yeah. Oh, different I, I different show entirely. <laughs> George R. R. That's, that's the only way to go. Yeah, As in, like, that's how you up this show. Because <laughs> this show right now, you've got a whole bunch of brutal stuff happening that you couldn't have in a regular time period. Of course. Which is, I think, why so many period dramas, or period the, dramas, quotation yeah, yeah, yeah. marks, kind of are shot. popular now. No, I think that's why they're popular, because you can you can have like a whole bunch of rapings, killings, murders, but in the real world, you can't do none of that because everyone's got to be... Really PC. polite yeah. PC, the whole thing. Although Breaking Bad was a bit different in that respect, that was that was the first thing to almost glamour. Don't remember that drugs. much raping and but pillaging. That, wasn't no, as but much of that meth dealing and killing and all of that. Yeah. Well, that's true. Having a like a prime time show following an antagonist as their main character, it's not a common thing. Like, that's true. Being Walter White, you know, he's he is the antagonist. You've not watched it, yet, have you? That you should. Yeah. I tell you what. He he keeps banging on. I tell you what. Until he finishes Sons of Anarchy, I'm not watching. Masterpiece. Have you made a deal with him? He's finished season six of Sons of Anarchy. He's got like 13 episodes left to go. Who's the star of that show again? Oh, for fuck's sake. He looks like him, but with blonde hair. (laughs) Yeah. 
Did Except you hear that at the start of my I didn't take it in the ass when I was like 16 for a TV role. I did it for real. Wait. Well, <laughs> you did it when you were 15. Uh, yeah. Early start I didn't take it in the real. This Actually, nothing. I didn't take it in the ass from Peter Baelish. I think it was Peter Baelish that was uh, was his lover in the show. And Queer as Folk? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of Green Street. I'm like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Is he in Green Street? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's probably why I never Baelish. watched it. We also find out he was in The Dark Knight Rises as well. Not Peter Oh, no, Baelish yeah. Thing. Yeah. It will be very painful. <laughs> oh, you mean Peter Baelish was in Green Street, not... Not no, Charlie Hunnam. Charlie Hunnam is. You've He's got Elijah Wood on one side and yeah. Charlie Hunnam on the other. Have I seen that? I feel like I've seen that. You feel dirty. Is he the. Is he the wait, is he the yeah. kid that Elijah Wood goes to stay with? Who gets. You know, he's, spoiler he's the, one who, he's the one who gets him into the whole. Oh, the fuck, he was good in that! He is a good actor! He, do you know what, Charlie Hunnam? I'm, Hunnam, I'm going to say this. You were good once. <laughs> You were good once. And you also acted good that one time. Is it a film worth watching? (laughs) (laughs) My man. I don't know, man. For you... Green Street? Maybe. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I don't know. It's not everyone's cup of tea. you're not football and that... I'm not into football. It's not about the football, yeah, I don't know. It's more about the yob culture that follows with it. To be fair, you'd just be beating one off to Charlie (laughs) Hunnam the whole time, so you'd you'd probably enjoy it. Hey! (laughs) Not the whole time. Just one. (laughs) Right. It's a no, two-hour film. Focus. Get three or four. Yeah. Focus, <laughs> anyway. Structure. Brought so, down like the wall. Brought down indeed. Brought so, down like the wall. basically, what you're pitching... That, yeah? Oh, sorry. Another theory. Brought down by the wall. So, in the books, Jor Mormont is the 997th Lord Commander. Jon Snow, 998th. Uh-huh. He's then killed. Someone takes his place. In the books, it's not actually... He's just been killed at the very, very end of the books. <laughs> but in the show, it's Spoiler that... Spoiler alert if you're only Ed reading Tullux. the books. <laughs> Sorry <So. laughs> about the books. <laughs> so, current Lord Commander is 999th Lord Commander. It feels like he's going to have the 1000th Lord Commander be the last Lord Commander in some sort of grand showdown. Will they bother with that now in the show? Not in Given the show. that the wall has come down. It feels like the Night's Watch is kind of redundant now that the wall has come <laughs> down to me. The well, watch has ended. <laughs> who became the Lord Commander? Dolores Ed. Yeah. He's the only one of the Night's Watch who we actually remember. Can you bring it up for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool, there's cause... been all sorts of theories about who could it be. And folk like Jamie Lannister, for example, it's the perfect end to his whole redemption arc. Oh, yep, yep, yep. If he it's... becomes the 1000th Lord Commander and leads the war for the dawn and all that kind and of he's shit. He's already wearing the black. That would circle exactly. around from, uh, I think, I can't remember if it was episode one, but it certainly would be episode no later than episode two. Jamie shakes Jon Snow's hand and uh, thanks him. Let's all, let's all move up one, actually. I think that'll be better. I didn't realise you were going to just, you were always going to sit there. Uh, he, he, shakes, like he shakes Jon Snow's hand and thanks him for going to save the world from all these made up threats. It's meant to be completely tongue in cheek. But it is obviously turned out to be the real thing. But it's a way for Jamie to berate the Night's Watch. So for him to then become the thousandth Lord Commander, it'd be a nice way to completely tie up his arc. It doesn't happen in episode one, so it must be episode two. I watched episode one on Friday night. Of what? Game of Thrones. The very, very, very first one again. Back in the day. Fucking weird, to be honest. Seeing Jamie. How and- cheap does it look? Uh, one it looks, it looks and bit... Tyrion without a beard it, it doesn't work it's yeah. 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 before he's got the massive scar across his face yeah and like um... Bran and uh, Arya look yeah. like <laughs> totally totally different I know they're Bran. only about the same height as me at that point it's ridiculous <laughs> Bran is, looks like a fucking mutant now <laughs> yeah <laughs> Charles Xavier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Complete with his wheelchair. Yeah. The rest of him hasn't grown, but his nose has. Yes. It's just continued. <laughs> well, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like he's went from this, this little kid and then what, this, to one Pinocchio. year to like 6'4 <laughs> with this giant fucking angular face. That's, that's kind of yeah. why the show took him out in season five. It was to allow the actor to go through his growth spurt, which he evidently did. And then you're like, what the fuck like is Bran? Yeah. It's like if you ever watch Lost, it's like Walt in season one, yeah. and then he just fucked off, and he came back in season four, and you're like... Walt, 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 Walt. The little black kid. 
his right. dad was Michael and, that. and then he came back in like season four and that and he's like oh come on Locke you've got to get up and you're like who the fuck are you <laughs> who's the new dude the same actor <laughs> yeah it's the same, same actor. actor only about seven years old that was a disappointing old. end to a show eh let's not go there <sighs> <laughs> alright let's not uh, no I, one does last I've seen last I've seen the <laughs> island went I know Never the has water. there been a, a more appropriate name for a show. I think I that's how the writer. The further it went on, it's just like we have backed ourselves into a one the fucking problem, hole here. The problem with Lost is that the the network commissioned six seasons, but they'd only prepared for three, and that's why it goes so downhill. I think it's okay until the, the last season is just bad. The, the flashback episode where they did the story on Jack's tattoos, which went nowhere, was apparently a protest by the writers just to take to the execs and say, look what you've made us do! This is shit! It's exactly like, <laughs> this is the corner you forced us into! Pretty good. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Looks like lost to me! People like tattoos! <laughs> but loads of shows went through this problem in... Uh, Around the writer's strike. Writer's strike. Yeah. Writer yeah, strike. Yeah, yeah. I, crippled I started re- uh, not heroes uh, oh heroes. don't I started breaks my heart <laughs> lost just best recently. first season of any show ever I think heroes, potentially heroes. Mm. I would have to agree it's I definitely watched right it. I binge watched it twice so tight yeah. yeah Homeland had a great first season as well and then just nosedived so quickly but yeah I started re-watching Lost just recently with the missus just to try and get her into it and at the end of like episode two some guys put on porn you put on lost <laughs> and then at the end of like episode Look at that two horse. she's just like she hears the whole smoke it's monster noise and the trees are rustling and she just says it's a fucking T-Rex isn't it <laughs> it <laughs> might as well be like, no it's not a T-Rex and she's like oh, I can't be fucked with this we're not watching this this isn't my the time to <laughs> do, do you know I think lost when you're watching it not live but as it's happening I think that was part of the whole gig with it is that you're trying to figure out oh, but yeah, you're trying to you. guess it but if you're watching it back in retrospect even it though it's probably it doesn't really have the watching value especially yeah. once you figure out the whole smoke See, monster even though it's time, timeless probably yeah. because of the way it's set yeah yeah That's the it's thing not going like, to age yeah. Netflix shows it dumps the whole series down everyone binge watches it there's no fan theories yeah, you know, there's no time unlike Game of Thrones, which or is West not World. fan theories. West World. I That's see what you thing. did there. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. so basically, what you're saying is that you think that Jon Snow was given to Ned, and Mira was given to Howland. Howland. What? But Bran actually kind of sticks an arrow in that theory because he says when he meets up with Sam in the finale of season seven that he's the only one alive that knows the truth of Jon. Now, up until this point, th- there was only actually one al- one person alive who knew the truth, and that was Howland Reed because he was there. He saved Ned at the end of the battle, and he was there when Ned took his bastard, who's not really his bastard, home. But if Bran's now saying that he's the only one alive, is he aware of Howland's existence? Is Howland dead? He has to be. He travelled with Georgian and Mira Bran... for months. Surely to Christ, he asked him, "Who's your dad?" <laughs> The, the, pro- the problem with uh, Bran is being shown in the, the episode, that episode in particular that he has access to all the memories like of everything that's ever happened and everything that's currently he happening in the but right he, doesn't, he doesn't know how to control it he can't focus I thought he Hale needs a died. focusing point no but he was injured in the battle and he did survive it's stated a number of that times that battle was he, brilliant Oh, so, so good. good. Which battle? Is he the there? Tower of Joy? Yeah, with, yeah uh, that was a good one. Yeah. The Sword of the Morning. Have you Arthur seen Bain. the YouTube edit of it where they're fighting with lightsabers instead of yeah. swords? It's <laughs> tremendous. Yeah, lightsabers makes tremendous. everything better, yeah. though. Everything better with lightsabers. Well, Speaking almost. of Bran, theory, prediction, whatever, I cannot see any end to his arc other than him dying. I don't see where he goes from here. I had a at thought the on end. this. I might have said it on the the group chat. I can't remember, but you seen Flash? You seen Flash? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the Flash on TV? The TV? Unfortunately, I saw the first couple of episodes. Yes. You've not seen the full season. Then. Not a fan. Basically, what happens? Is, <laughs> do you mind if it gets spoiled? Don't give one fucking heat off. Do you guys mind if it gets spoiled? No. Spoiler alert. There you go. So basically, what happens is the bad guy, right? Turns out he's travelled back from the future and he's actually a descendant of one of their friends. Mm-hmm. And when it looks like he's about to win, their friend shoots himself and kills himself so that he kills off his line and suddenly the bad guy dies. Hold okay. on, you're giving spoilers for season one, which aired like four years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> Jesus. But the character comes back because he's but stuck the thing in a time is, loop. I can still want to watch that. Nonsense. 
It's it's not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, I you don't know. know. If you're not you a fan of the Flash in general, alert. it's like saying, "Oh, spoiler Ned alert dies on the Godfather end. or something." Is <laughs> I, think, I think you've had enough time by Rip, now. Ripley survives <laughs> uh, until so, the third movie. But, um, sort so of. I, I kind of agree with what you're saying that Bran is to die, but I think Bran will choose to die to end the Night King. I think. Yeah, I, I just well, however it ends, I can't see Maybe him getting out alive. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot see him getting out alive. That will tie in very nicely to the theory that he is the Night King, then, mm-hmm. because you kill the Night King and you kill them all. He, needs oh, he, he can't be the Night King. Can't be the Night King. But he, he has can't be the Night King. He has to I be the Night King. I that. What do you mean he has to be the Night King? The Night King, King is you. rubbish. If <laughs> Bran is, he really is. If he is, if the, if the Night, Night King, King is rubbish, he is. Be one he's shot so, as a dragon, shite. He's so one dimension. <laughs> well, also that whole one shot in the dragon. It's like, oh, there's Drogon sitting still, all the main characters on his back. But no, I'll take that. It's, it's a one. huge. That is a huge plot. What get, on I, earth? I, I, we all completely agree on, on earth, that. Yeah. In, in but the chat, we, yeah. But we madness. Have, have you not seen the video where they actually they decipher what the White Walkers are saying to him? <laughs> you bet you can't hit the flying one. I bet you can't hit the flying one. He's like, I can do it, Bill. <laughs> I can do it, Bill. <laughs> well, the thing is, right? Oh, if you think man. about that, right? He takes out the dragon, so all the heroes get off the dragon. He then has to fight through the heroes, and he probably knows John is the one that's going to end them. Yeah. So he's wanting to stay away. Well, John's got Valerian Steel, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was also there was no Which reason we've forgotten about for this whole series. <laughs> it used to be all because. When when did Dragon Glass come into it? Because when they started talking about Dragon Glass recently, I was like, it was in "Where the se- fuck is it was this?" In season so, one. Yeah, and Sam killed a White Walker with Dragon. Did he have Dragon Glass? Glass. Yeah. I thought he had Valerian Steel. No, he had a little dagger. Because he discovered at Hardhome uh-huh. the effect of Valerian Steel uh-huh. when he takes out one of the Walkers. So they didn't know at that point that that's what Valerian Steel could mm-hmm. do. That was uh, so, yeah, the Long fuck. Is, <laughs> uh, but there's, not, there's very, very limited Valerian Steel out there. It's Longclaw. Um, has Jamie got one? Widow's Jamie's well. got one. Brienne's got one. That's right. Arya's that's got the dagger. Right. Sam's got one. He's got his dad. Sam's got one, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's destined for something big, Sam. Uh, I, mean, I he he's that the, sword. The, yeah. the, yeah. The show ends with him telling some child, maybe his, who knows, the sto- the song of ice and fire, which is the book that he's going to finish for. I Eagles. think, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the end. Some of the jokes this season, like the whole Sir Davos saying to Gendry, <laughs> "Oh, I thought, thought you, you were still rolling," and the whole Maester saying to Sam, "Oh, oh, the war of the the." Battles in the War of the Five Kings. Oh, I think you should give it a catch your title. I'm sitting there. Fan service. Fucking that, hell. There was a lot of fan service this season. Maybe oh. too much. But then that's where the fan theories, I think, are now important. Someone has nailed it. Oh, yeah. Well, George Martin himself said that there have been people who have guessed word for word how it is going to end. He never revealed what the ending was. Because, mm-hmm. you know, why would you do that? He's told Benny off and. Yeah, they, yeah. they know the end. They knew there was, there was three big twists. Um, and I can't remember the first one, but the Hodor second one was, was one Hodor. Idea. They knew that Ho- uh, I think it was that one Why of the dragons had died. How Hodor became Hodor? Yeah, it's mentioned Reveal, so many times. Maybe then, yeah. Yeah. Reveal, yeah, it, yeah. It Reveal. It's a bit of Bran's ability to meddle in the past because he's warned several times, "Don't linger too long in the past." The Three Eyed Raven specifically tries to stop him from interfering with the past. He shouts after his father, and that's when it's revealed he can actually influence past events. But can he influence past events? Or is it or did the that is always dry yeah. thing where it's like it's always it's destined to happen, it's just it's, a loop? It's that ridiculous time travel issue, isn't it? You know, does it happen because he went back or is it, is it just that same loop? You know, it's... Yeah. And that, that leads back to the question of don't linger too long. He lingers too long in the first man. Dragon glass in the heart, he gets trapped. But I mean, he lingers too long in the first man. It's not like he takes See, over I... someone's body. No, but he, he's, he kind of he does, be, though. He can be inside their he, head. He controls their actions. That's what he's done it with Hodor, he's done it with countless animals. He takes over them and uses them so, almost as a, as a meat puppet. He, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Something you're not unfamiliar with, so I'm he, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he prefers the term a cock extension, but yeah. <laughs> um, Don't hashtag that. <laughs> Fuck, if it'll trend, do it. <laughs> you know what you shouldn't hashtag? Baby's laughter. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it looks like baby slaughter. Can't be the same <laughs> hashtag baby's laughter at the nursery today. <laughs> the my times I read about the rapist. Uh, yeah, it's like the rapist. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was like when Ed Sheeran released his album music party. album party. An album party. Musical <laughs> bum party. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. But the Sue Boyle one was Sue's. That's how he got big, though, let's be honest. Big bum party. Bum party yeah. So, yeah, where were we? Where were we? Anal A bum theory. parties? Brian. 
Bum, Bran goes back into the first man, Dragon Glass in the heart traps him, so and he, he warps him. So you're saying he goes back into the first man to make the first man run away from the situation or to whatever? To try and stop the children <laughs> from stop creating the White Walkers. And he is also all of these versions of Bran the Builder from yeah. way back in time. Yeah. He created the wall. wall. He's yeah. trying to fix stuff in history to prevent the Night King ever coming But in back. doing so, yeah. it actually causes the problem itself. Yes, yeah, so I read all, I read all I of Bran the Builder. I just him in season eight and be like, right, nobody disturb me. Okay? <laughs> and just sitting. And every so often you'll write season eight and you'll just be sitting there like that. <laughs> and it'll be the finest acting this boy's ever done. And he'll just be still... There's, there's, also really isn't. Or maybe no, like, there's also no reason for them to recast the Night King because in season 5 the Night King looked badass as fuck in yeah. that hard home episode and then they recast him to give him a bigger nose more like it Brand. has features much more and like Brand it's yeah. like yeah that's the only reason to recast him but okay, then of course know? that doesn't make sense because if he's if the Night King is Bran worked into this first man well, he doesn't need to look true. like Bran he just needs to look like this first man they should just use that actor but that would give away the whole thing wouldn't it um, so I, I thought th- I thought I'd killed the theory that Bran was the Night King because we had two and a half seasons of the Night King looking for the Three Eyed Raven, and that was kind of the ex- explanation as to why it took them so fucking long to go south because they needed the, they needed to kill the Three Eyed Raven. They needed Bran to get over the uh, to get past the wall, and if Bran was the Night King, well, he knows where that cave is. He's he lived there so for so long. So do you think so Bran was Max von Sydow as well? I kind of buy into that theory, especially if if you're going to go with time travel to explain Bran being the Night King, this has to be Bran from the future. So stop being such a fucking pleb. Don't do that. And then he does it anyway, and it's it's a vicious circle. You can't stop it. The ink is dry. I think it's kind of like saying, don't think about how can he be How can yeah. he be Max von Sydow if he's the Night King, though? I just don't buy that. Because <clears throat> he's travelled in time too many times. And he's travelled... He's splintered across time in his own stupid way because he's gotten so stuck. at least this way, because the Night King's shit, at least this way, there can be a pretty epic end to it if John or someone like that has to kill Bran to kill the Night King. Well, that Jamie. is the thing. The Night King is shit because there's no, there's no. He's kind of like a. He's one dimensional. Yes, there's no motivation. but that's because we, that's because we don't know his motivations yeah, yet. He's like maybe he, maybe he does Evil. have. Yeah, he just wantonly but, wanders around killing. But we shit. might get a motivation episode, and like, there could be some season eight, enough, episode one. There's not Night King. Time. There's only six episodes. I read a left. Great there's no time. Theory about the the Night King and what he's doing, and it was basically about the, the you know a thousand years ago they beat him before. Yeah. yeah. And what they're basically saying is actually the person who went out there because there was only one person. I can't uh-huh. remember. Azor Ahai. Was, was it yeah, Azor Ahai? Yeah. The, and he wasn't actually a warrior. The chosen a, one. He was a negotiator. Yeah. The prince that was promised. And yeah. he went to the Night King and said, "Look, um, yeah. you go back where you came from. All the wildlings. This guy will give you his firstborn. You know, all the children Craster. or whatever. Yeah. Castors keep give you all the the, the boys." You know, and you'll get what you need. You stay to your land, we'll stay to our land, we won't bother you, you we'll won't bother us. Wall, you know, all done. So he's gone back, but now that the humans have come into their side and started fucking the t- about... The texts have been lost telling you don't go beyond the wall. And then no reason why. So the Night King said, well, you're breaking your end of the deal. Here I come, Here bitches. Yeah. So. But it still keeps him pretty one-dimensional. The thing with... It, the, the problem with him being Bran is that one, I find it hard that Bran is Max one zero because I totally believe that because you never saw Max von Sydow walking. Mm. Uh, he yeah. kind of became one with the tree. Yeah. yeah. He'd sat there so long, he didn't which, have a wheelchair. Which yeah. kind of made... Like, I, instantly I was just like, you're Bran. Like, straight away as soon as I saw him. Yeah. Um, but then maybe I'm just holding on to my own theory. But I just don't buy, buy him being the Night King because... Everyone thinks everyone keeps on going, he's the Night King. See, and that he, makes he, it really yeah. fucking boring. The, the one... moment I thought it was Bran yeah you saw, watched, you it, 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 was, it was the trailer. nose it really was yeah. the nose as I, mean, I said I thought I'd kind he of does with, look like with him, him being no. the Max von Sydow as yeah. well this is one thing where I struggle to see that he could be only because of the books because <clears> in the books the origin of the Three-Eyed Raven is quite explained he's a Targaryen yeah he's a wow. character called Blood Brind- Raven yeah, in Brindon the books Rivers. yeah Brendan yeah, Rivers yeah, okay. so because in the books he has his own, he has his own Valyrian steel blade that Mira may, <laughs> that, that Mira may or may not have taken in the cave when Hodor and that died but you know that's yeah. being totally glossed over and won't be touched on yeah, oh, yeah. So, as you were saying about he, Brendan Rivers he had what sorry he had his own Valyrian steel <clears throat> sword he had, yes he did he had Dark Sister um, that's a yeah, missing blade cool names in the books, books like, 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 like Dark Sister and What's the? Who are those guys in Dorne? Who's that 
badass motherfucker from Dorne who's got the amazing <laughs> sword name and everything. Uh, you know the guy. He's, hang on, I will Google uh, badass motherfucker from Dorne. Badass. Dorn. <laughs> Not I might like, like, see what comes first, up. It'll be the first result. It'll be it'll be over no, Martel. This guy is like motherfucker. He, he, you, you know the guy I'm talking about his sword has got the coolest name Robbie well. Williams that's, <laughs> that's not what we were looking for Roger Dorn Machine Gun Kelly no it's none of these people <laughs> <laughs> never have I been so disappointed in generic search engine and I thought Google knew everything about us Google Dornish Warrior you probably just broke everyone's eardrums there scream I watch the microphone play you must be mindful of the microphone you must respect the microphone at all times respect all things always <laughs> always and yeah wax the on, reason I got on. really excited earlier but no one knew about it you saw me get excited <laughs> <just because. laughs> yeah you Damon Blackfire you, you said you being Kev for people that are still listening well they have a sidebar they're gone <laughs> um, that uh, Ripley dies in episode 3 <laughs> and it's interesting because Aliens 3 is good up until the point when Tywin dies. <laughs> which and is, then it just falls we're, apart. We're seeing a trend here with Charles Dance. You kill him off, you're, you're killing off whatever you're you're making, whether it's a TV show. Have you seen The, the Golden Child? No, I don't think I have, no. No, that is quality. He's in that. He's basically the devil's servant. Yeah. What's this? The Golden Child. Who? Sorry, it's, who? Uh, I don't know that. Charles name. Dance. Charles Dance. Oh, right, yeah. Opposite Eddie Murphy. <laughs> with fucking martial arts and magic and uh, yeah it's fucking, and fucking dope. Charles Dance <laughs> it is so yeah exactly so, it's so good where were we with the theories then so we talked about you're, you're checking out we some got stuck on, Paul, we got Paul. stuck on Bran who may or may not be the Night King right but yeah I, I thought I'd quash well, that should we, should we vote should we vote on each of these theories? See, I was I was on like this side of the fence we're saying that it's stupid It make, you don't want it to work but I had a, a bit of a reevaluation on it. It's the only th- obvious thing. It but... does kind of feel like it's the easiest way to tie it up, and that's what they're needing now is a nice, sweet, easy, tiny, easy way to wrap everything up. Because next season and is just going to be gonna, fucking If you think wars. they were fast paced this season, next season's going to be off the charts. Yeah. Like, just light speeds. How many and episodes is it like? Six? Six. So I reckon four and five will probably be the nine. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, there'll so, be a two parter, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. See how the Night King's got his team of boys that ride with him. There should be 13 of them, but if uh, you're a follower of Craster and his 99 sons, because Sam's adopted son, little Sam, is the 100th son of Craster. And right. Craster was sacrificing his children, Night only his boys. His boy back. That could be, that, that's it, that could be his, his motivation. Maybe yeah, he, that's literally it. The Night King just wants his boy. Maybe he does. It, it could be something else. The, the, there's a couple of options, but there's been no indication as to because he was already coming south before we seen Sam take this baby south. So maybe that's what he was saying in Hard Home when he's like, at John's. No, Give my like, boy back. Tell your boy <laughs> Sam to bring my boy back. And, and John's like, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm Jon Snow. Jordy Jon Snow returns. Hashtag Jordy Jon Snow. Do you know about Jordy <laughs> Jon Snow? Why I lad? <laughs> Nick King's like, do you know about Sam's boy? know nothing <laughs> <laughs> so I'm told <laughs> he does know nothing yeah I, I thought that makes loads of sense in term, I don't know who said it now about about um, Sam's not son his adopted son his adopted G- son G- Gilly's calling him the dad but he's not yeah being the Night King's like um, it's meant to be his sproglet because Craster was giving up all his sons that so was maybe that was one of the deals that was made like you don't go past the yeah. wall you get a child every so often to there's a, castle, your race. there's a castle on the, the wall as well and they actually visit it in season 3 I want to say, the, the night fort and the, they mention it in the show it's covered a lot more in the books a lot of it all is obviously so there's a lot more material you can work on but the show touches on that it had a dark history of, sacrif- of sacrificing men and children to the gods of the forest which is obviously the old gods and the night king is believed to be one of these old gods so that could be maybe the Night's Watch also sacrificing people and as the Night's Watch grew smaller and smaller and smaller and had less and less people they decided maybe we'll just not do this anymore and just retreat to Castle Black and be shit and that's kind of where we've ended up picking up with them was this the guy was the chap's name Craster? Craster Craster yeah. did he say anything in the episode or in he, the book he indicated he's got to... a pact with them which means they can be reasoned with means they ha- they can communicate and in the books it's indicated that they communicate with what sounds like 
crackling of ice or crack like just that really loud crack you hear on the lake when it yeah. it's freezing over. It kind of suggests they have their own language. Yeah, they're all they're also reasonably sentient in that you can see the whole whenever they just slaughter folk they leave these patterns the children yeah. of the forest they tie episode like one the very yeah, yeah. patterns yeah. of bodies and all of that and they're yes. all in that cave at Dragonstone the same symbols what, 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 what the patterns s- the, uh, in the very first episode um, right at the start you see the three guys going out into the like north of the wall yeah yeah they're and ranging yeah. one of the one of the squires or whatever find, one of the knights watch so I find they find these wildling corpses mangled in a circle with like two of them coming into the middle and some arms pointing that's that, up there yeah oh yeah I was going to ask about that oh there's a uh, you also see the same symbol around the tree it's similar to that uh, symbol there around just like the a, a spiral the where the it's on on the tree where the knight's king was or the first white walker was created we're assuming that he's the knight king could just be the first white walker. I, yeah, yeah. It, it see, could I be a title. Up, it could be a title that, that could be passed well. on as well. You know, there's been how many thousands of years since he was created. He's not. Maybe he is the first night king. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's a succession, yeah. so which def- ties into what Danny and Tyrion could, were falling out about. So these passes definitely, passes definitely, definitely. Oh yeah, they're so saying the something. Head yeah. In the last episode, there. it's hard to look past, yeah. especially now. Uh, De- definitely crop circles. I think white walkers are. Aliens confirmed. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Confirmed. The yeah. truth is confirmed. out there. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, Mulder and Scully. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, we'll get back to the future. I can't even sing or make any sort of totally sound. It's off similar. Key. Off so, key, the whole thing. I've covered it, boys. Covered it. And then modulate it and go. Oh no, no. no we something. know what you did. Auto tune. Eventually, you'll probably not be allowed to talk about content that's owned by someone else anyway. Unless yeah. that you're paying some sort of fee. I'd be like, I watched, <laughs> and I thought it was really good. Start playing, start playing charades to people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work in a podcast. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Can, uh, I just have to be video logged. should totally do a charades podcast. <laughs> Are you going to try and edit that motherfucker? <laughs> How about no? <laughs> <laughs> you can't speak. It's not going to work in a podcast. It's really not. <laughs> so, no, yeah. Mind, when we, mind when we came into this with a a structure in mind and we're going yeah, to stick structure. to structure structure where was structure. Bran on the structure I don't think he was number one was he no, no. <laughs> so, you know sounds like someone's got a Jamie Lannister theory well yeah we need to get, we need to we get, need to get to the sh- Lannisters get, to, get so a movie on so. let's get some Lannister action well, we're, we're, Bran isn't the Night King but the Night King is Bran just splurge so what if the Night King that we're seeing right now is not the same Night King as we saw in other episodes and there's actually two of there's them leading two thing. separate no, no. What if the, what if there's two maybe separate the, maybe armies? Maybe this bastard we're seeing now killed the one we saw at Hardhome. Maybe there's maybe there's multiple kings. Maybe there's one takes over the other and takes his power. See, I was thinking, but that it's, it's it's too complicated now for the show. There's the, too much to cover. Mass Effect, right? Going back to Mass Effect Two, <laughs> you had the controller. I think he was called assuming control. <laughs> yeah, takes yeah, over yeah, yeah. the other bodies. Maybe that's what the king does. He just goes. I not unlike what there. not unlike what Bran can do. Yeah. My my new th- my, my new thinking on Bran as the Night King is that he did go back there and try to stop the first White Walker being created, and when he was trapped in that body when the man became the first White Walker, what actually happened was that his consciousness and his powers got stuck in this White Walker, and the White Walker could access some of it, but also had his own superpowers. But that's why he needed to get to Bran. That's why he needed to find the Three Eyed Raven's cave. So what did he? What did he get when he killed Max von Sydow? He broke Plus the spell. Plus five hundred XP. That's what I thought. <laughs> Level up, bitches! I get it. He, and he unlocked. He unlocked a new nose. A new <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm thinking Character that, customization. I'm thinking that that's not even the Night King. Potentially, you know. You know, there, there, there could, could be. be there could the, be the, the one problem with home. that. The problem with that it with could the be this show. One. The the problem with that with the show is that. We don't have a lot of time to cover, especially if you start doing plot twists. This guy isn't actually the Night King. Fucking surprise. Did you know there's Jon <laughs> Snow? <laughs> so how soon in season eight will he reach Winterfell? It has to be episode two at the latest. They cannot let it go any longer than that. Episode one is a Night King episode. No, I don't will know. I think it'll Winter... be a last stand before Winterfell. I think they're going south. and I think... I think they're going south of Winterfell as well. So do you think Winterfell will just be left or ruined? I think every, t- every time we see a battle with them, which will probably be almost episode, like episode by episode, you'll see them retreating further and further back to the get to the Neck, which would be very nice, especially if Jamie and Cersei happen to both be in the Neck, because the prophecy that predicted... 
her yeah, gene she'll be, in the she'll neck be yeah, she off. could get get it in the neck yeah so precisely yeah. Uh, so it'll be a nice way to wrap it around in one nice little neat bow and go ha fuck all of you have you read the theory that there is a dragon underneath Winterfell yeah, yeah um, th- uh, that... I can't buy into that but I there's get there's one the under theory, New York but... say though oh, yes there is I am the immortal actor. Where did you <laughs> And you are a thundering dumbass. Oh my god, he's the worst, isn't he? I fucking hate him. What's his name again? Finn Jones. Finn Jones. Lord Fuck you, out. Finn Jones. Honestly, you suck a dick. I have two Game of Thrones alumni in his show. Because uh, Obara Sand, one of the Sand Snakes, she's his sidekick slash side piece in Iron Fist. Is that the is that the intro girl? Jessica Hennett. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I want to say... Wing. You're, good at, you're good at acting. Not the Immortal Iron Fist, though. She was brilliant. She was, she was phenomenal. No question well, about I've it. I've still never watched it. the rest of it. Mm. It's probably not going to Second half is good. Speaking of Finn Jones, Loris Tyrell is one of these characters who got shafted, literally, <laughs> for the show. Oh, in yeah, that, yeah. Like, He was such a good character in the books, and in the show, he's the token gay. It really yeah. is <laughs> just it, appalling. His highlight it's of his so entire bad. story. But he was actually episodes. kind of cool for his, a little bit. Yeah, his highlight of his entire story in the show is basically when he got beat in the competition in oh, the well, tourney well, right when he, start, he beats yeah. he beats the mountain in the hands tourney and then the mountain and uh, his brother the hound show down because uh, the mountain that is amazing because Robert goes stop it the hound, hound just bounces yeah. just as the sword yeah. goes over his head it's like holy click shit. ball hype yeah. <laughs> but like with the, in the books and everything he's a member of the king's guard and everything for Joffrey yeah and then when the war of the five kings reaches its peak Cersei sends him off to lead an assault on Dragonstone against Stannis and like he's proper badass like you wouldn't think so because you just look at him and he's the, the night, night of the flowers. flowers and all of that and you're like nah but in the <laughs> books he's really really like He's actually amazing legendary yeah. you know he's, he's known across the land you that's, kept saying that to me you well, kept yeah. saying this he was a great character there's so many best. characters like outside of your main core cast of what 25 characters it's, it is so difficult to give everyone the, the focus that they deserve and so many storylines and characters have been cut out or I cut know, down now it's just Jon Snow as the saviour of the world and I feel I know what I, I will think they're setting us up for a huge bait and switch it'll be his twin sister Mira do you think <laughs> nah. it's possible no, 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 no. well she's different coloured be... eyes and is she immortal well I cover that in the article oh do you yeah. <laughs> you cover yeah. the the woman with the two different coloured eyes who oh no 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 that's oh. that's someone else entirely see do you think <laughs> The ending of um, Game of Thrones could be the Night King on the Iron Throne, sort of going, I don't actually give a fuck about the Iron Throne. Do you think the Night King could win? I well, isn't the Iron Throne meant to be made of uh, dragon glass? Valyrian Val- steel. Val- oh, Val- oh, Val- so Val- I mean, he's like, he sits on it, it and just sitting down. Uh, well, actually, would just, would that would be a nice callback yeah. to season one because Robert actually says he hates sitting on that fucking throne because he always gets cut. Mm. sitting on it because the blades are so sharp because it was melted by Beleriand the Black Dread whose skull keeps appearing which feels like it's fan service but you almost want to feel like there's going to be what something else what do you mean the skull it. keeps appearing in the, the dungeons yeah. you know when Jamie and Tyrion met up this uh, year they were down in the dungeons and you know when Quyburn was talking to Cersei about the and big fired the skull uh, for the first yeah. the that was, yeah, that was Beleriand's skull, skull. That, oh, right. and Arya hid in it in season yep. one when she right. overheard she the conspiracy there, yeah. mm. the Targaryen restoration but I kind of think as well that in the books there's so much prophecy and all that kind of stuff and they've kind of shied away from that in the show yeah. but Daenerys in season 2 did get the horror whole visions in the house of the undying when she went to get her dragons back they got half and the visions saw, anyway. <laughs> they saw King's Landing in ruins like the whole roof was caved in uh-huh. and it looked as if the floor was covered in snow I had thought it was going to be ash yeah, not I snow and that her dragons sense. were going to burn down yeah. the Red Keep but I, I do wonder if it's snow and if the Knights King and his army are going to make it as far south as King's Landing because I think his forces will. will I think his forces will I don't know if he if, will if, I mean you can imagine all the whites tearing through the streets just wreaking havoc and it, it's also the foreshadowing from John of oh how many people live here a million, a million. oh that would be a million Let's more boost people the numbers the by a million undead, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know if they make insane. it that far it would just be it'd be like Age of Ultron and then against but those odds, better. it's totally impossible. <laughs> but then all you need to do is kill the Night King, burns. as Beric said, and they'll all fall. Mm-hmm. So yeah. imagine that didn't happen. Though. Imagine like someone takes out the Night King quite early on, and they keep going. Psych! There was another <laughs> one. <laughs> Remember Hardhome? Whoa! 
<laughs> He's still standing there with his arms outstretched. <laughs> Come at me, crow. <laughs> Will he resurrect anybody that we actually care about? Like, will Jamie fall and be brought back? Will we see Hodor? Come back, zombie Hodor. Will I keep see... expecting to see zombie Hodor. You know he'll, at some you know point. he'll fall and we'll get, uh, see resurrected, and it'll break everyone's heart. Jon Snow falling before he learns of his true heritage. Nah, because he can't know nothing. He can't. You can't nah, have him know Bran's something. Bran's gonna tell him in season what about one. Tyrion is is he even making it back to Winterfell? Because they're not going straight to Winterfell. Tyrion. <laughs> 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 what, Tyrion get brought back by the Night King? Oh, Tyrion is going to die. <laughs> I thought Tyrion was going to die. He's le- he's going. The end of the show is going to be him sitting there telling that same story about when he walked in a brothel with what was it, a jug of wine and a hun- oh, no, an ass and a honeycomb. Right? Mm-hmm. And the barmaid asks the question every time he goes to tell the rest of the joke, he gets interrupted. <laughs> That's we're going to finally get the punchline of that joke. Six seasons in the making, <laughs> and we're finally going to get it. And that'll be Sam. He'll be telling when Sam's reading the story of the Ice and Fire. If you were in Jon Snow and Daenerys' shoes, would you not have just <laughs> not listened shoes. to Euron and thought, yeah, that's a fucking good idea. Essos is a huge continent. Let's just evacuate. See, Leave this fucker do. to take over <laughs> we Westeros. Talked about this. We, like, we talked about this. Have you seen the trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean where you see the pirates all walking along yeah. the bottom of the water? Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't get me started on the oh they can't swim except when they go to put the chains around the dragon's yeah. neck to well, get the dragon no, back out from swam. under the ice. I think they he sacrificed some to go down and attach it to the dragon. And so you hate that episode like, too then? Oh, it was so so poor. Well, well we discussed so that in the group poor. chat. It was on, lazy on first, as shit. On first it was watching, lazy as it starts shit. off epic, but when you start to calm down from the the hype of it and you start to process it, and you think back on some of the on some of the points, and you're like. You know what, that doesn't actually make any goddamn sense. And it's Batman the Dark Knight. Oh, Batman and... the Dark Knight Rises? The one that... I am Batman! <laughs> that one. The one with Littlefinger, yeah. The... Yes, it's that. Because at the time I was watching that film and I'm like, oh, it's fucking... I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking her ass! I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh. <laughs> and then I left and I'm like, oh, it doesn't make sense. Oh, it doesn't make sense. What yeah. the fuck? All the way up until the zombie bear. Great. And then they're like, here, I... Gendry, Gendry better get back to the wall mate and suddenly it's like <laughs> it's run all the way back to the wall. and suddenly it's like ludicrous like I read an article just the other day which said based on the actual mileage it would have taken a, the raven that they sent seven days to get down I, the dragon's stone I do stone. think that they, kind, like, they the kind of address it. it they don't specifically spell out how long they've been on that rock when they're oh, stuck they've in been the on that rock too fucking long that's how long they've been but on that rock it's, it's oh, clear oh, that it is clear oh, that time oh, passed oh, but they oh, didn't show they get, didn't give us any way of knowing how much time has passed I, I covered what I think could have made that episode a solid ten and it was silly things like why is that bear away by itself for starters as well you know they've not shown anything about outriding like uh, sending out forces ahead on their own certainly not just one mangled bear just for shits and giggles um, you get I them... thought it would have made more sense for it to be one of the giants yeah but even, even then why by the itself the bear was on fire and it looked as it like Thoros fire was kills them but it doesn't kill them it know? zoomed in on the hound's face and I thought he's going to overcome his fear of fire yeah but no fuck there goes Beric to save the day and I'm like no character was it, was growth it not no character growth uh, Jorah What's kills it in the end ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 the way so they set up they were like yeah he was uh, the hound going to the hound was going to go and no, grab the sword or do something and he's just like do you know what no nah, to- it's going to come I totally is- shat myself I, to- <laughs> I, I, I do totally <laughs> by the theory he's going to draw a flaming sword at some point by then probably in the showdown with that'll Zabby be brother. his moment of yeah. Like, that'll be in the Clegane he's, Bowl. Yeah, he's going to come across something tragic as fuck. Beric will fall in a fight, maybe saving his ass. His brother will kill him or something. And he'll take up Beric's sword, look at it. And Shing! it'll just burst into flames. And he'll smirk. And that it, smirk that he has when he sees it, chicken or like something. This. He'll be like, looking at his hand, looking at his sword, and be like, fuck it. Running the blade yeah. up and it'll go fire him. You I'm, are. <laughs> I'm still convinced that that's how he got burned in the first place. Well, that we he were, ignited a sword, no. and then and the mountain was like, "Do you know what? Suck a dick." We were that's talking about sword. this. We were talking about this before the podcast, and it was someone Steve had mentioned to me of why the hound has got his face put in the fire, and you know how he says to the mountain, "You know what? Who's coming for you? You know how this ends." Or something You've like always that. known. Yeah. Um, what I was thinking is he can see visions in the flames. The Hound can. The Hound. Well, we've seen that in episode one yeah, of season yeah, yeah. seven, yeah. So he's seen a vision when he was a child and he said to the mountain, 
Oh, I, I kill you or whatever. I just and his seen big, and his big simpleton you. brother, who's always been seen to be violent and unpredictable, didn't like what his brother had to say. And Hulk smash. Hulk, Hulk smash. smash. He's like, like, fuck, you're killing me, and stuffs his face in the fire. And, but the Lord of Light protects and the, the and the trauma of the fire is what's made him forget that he'd even seen the vision in the first place. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I I, I do really quite like he, that. I, he might not even have forgot that. So he's how just maybe he's so always known? Yeah, yeah. But he's then repressed when, it. when they said look yeah. in the fire, he just knew what to do because other people have been asked to look in the fire. And the only been able to do it. Stannis. The only time we've ever seen people be able to see visions. Stannis couldn't see anything. No. Nah, he, he was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> totally see it." <laughs> you don't really. I don't remember him. Oh yeah, like, gotta kill, gotta kill my daughter. Yeah. I don't remember him <laughs> talking about what I'm he's seeing okay. in the flames. I always remember Melisandre sort of guiding him through. Uh-huh. This is what you'll see. Uh, this is what will happen if you do this. This is what will happen. What do you see? Like, I see the truth. See, no, if, you don't, man. See, no, if, you like, don't. She was my advisor. I would weld that collar onto her fucking neck. By the way, <laughs> you keep that on. <laughs> the only good bit All of allegedly. season seven, episode six, was when uh, Gendry was saying to the rest of them, "Oh, do you know what she did? She stripped me naked, <laughs> tied me down, and they're just like so it's good so far. <laughs> keep going, keep talking, Gendry. You're whinging. So I'm not You're whinging. whinging. <laughs> Your mouth's moving, and you're complaining about something. That's whinging." Um, uh, that was like when Tormund's talking about big monstrous babies. <laughs> no, that, there was some, there was some good quality in that episode, but then there was a lot of just laziness. Like people they, want to know us, but yeah, they're like they want, they've already they wanted, to, they wanted to get to this point, and they didn't really care how they got to it. And it was the big uh, hurdy gurdy. There goes the dragon. Kill it. I, I could buy almost everything else. I'll let. I even like let the fact that the Night King could have killed any of the main characters or the dragon there. I'm fine with Billy telling him that you know you get the one far <laughs> Damn away. Damn it, Billy! <laughs> I'm down with that. I wish it was you instead of Jeff that got sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can't let them away with is the chains. Yes, they they didn't even need to go there. That's the thing. They didn't need to let the dragon sink under the water. Just leave other the corpse. Than the fact that it was a very cool shot. Yeah. Just leave the corpse on top of the ice, and then you get rid of the whole problem with the chains. Mm. Or not even it's bother ridiculous. doing that, and just have the Night King raising it. Yes. We've not yes, seen the yes. full extent of his powers, and even, it, you even, don't want to start giving him telekinesis and that as well, though, you know, being able to well, move even shit Even if it's zoomed mind. in on the ice, right, and you just see nothing, and then suddenly does, this flash of blue from the eyeball, eyeball under the ice would have been because, great. Yeah. Does he have to touch things? No, to no he, because, because he, in hard he, he raises his, his arms and he brings well, the white. Well, that's white. what I'm saying, so that's what you have to do. But the dragon isn't just the white. Those people were killed by whites, though. It's not well. well that's a, I don't that's think a, it matters if they were. I think by it's whites more the dragon itself isn't walkers. actually a white. It's more like a white walker. He touches all the babies that become, or we're assuming they become white walkers. He touches them himself, and mm. that's what turns them. Well, that's true because not all of the whites actually have blue eyes. The blue eyes is a white walker. It seems thing. almost exclusive to white walkers, which was and that zombie bear for some fucking reason. No, but actually, that's just a plot hole. I'm convinced. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's something they wanted a blue eyed dragon. Yeah. It's the same with the blue flames and everything. You knew they were going to go there, but it's it ma- it, it didn't magic happen. fire. You know, it's uh, it does leave a lot of plot holes. It's a mess they've kind of written themselves into. I don't know how the books are going to get to it, but I don't think it's going to be like that. I also thought the CGI in the finale, when he was burning down the wall, was all great, other than the bits when they zoomed in close on the Night King on the back of Viserion. It looked so fake. And everyone's going, wrong with he it. has holes in his wings, he couldn't fly. Yeah. It's a zombie dragon, what part of this are you struggling He's to comprehend? He's actually just levitating, the wing <laughs> flapping is To be, to be fair though, I don't get the holes in the wings point. I mean, he... he Died, but he didn't suddenly get like his. No, it's because his body's decomposing, is it not? Doesn't decompose that quickly. No, I don't think so. Well, you don't know how much time's passed. Well, well, that's that is the whole problem with season seven. That is the biggest problem with season seven in a nutshell. You You don't know how much time is passing. They've travelled to King's Landing. They've spoke to Cersei. In that, a couple of weeks has passed since then. Yeah, gave them time to forge the chains. Yeah, but but chains. They got the chains from hard Chains happened. Chains explained. Yeah, I'm uh, not buying the chains. <laughs> Hashtag chain no, gate. Too <laughs> chain I, gate. <laughs> I think it would be better if he if he if he yeah. did I, that I do and think, then the dragon yeah, turned and him, then it just pops him, out like have him have him raise his arms look well looking down into the water and you just see the the blue What's eye the turning. Person, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. I told, I'd, I'd be totally much more like that. behind that. That would have been uh, way more badass and would have made way the other more issue, sense. The other issue of of course being the time passing. You don't know how how much time's passed between that uh, raven leaving. Uh, East Watch oh, and no, Gens that was a raven that was a fucking email and but also you, the whole you, the Night King text brings text. the cold thing yeah every time he turns up there's snow coming over the mountains and everything 
but he can't freeze a lake to let the well, whites the get whole to point, them. Exactly. The whole, oh my madness. god, bullshit. Yeah, the, whole, madness. the whole thing from that is a lot of people just very step much, over it. A lot of folk are buying the theory that there was a trap. He knew the dragons were coming. And it's the only way you can uh, yeah, write it off, he, so he, otherwise... And they've, ex- oh. they've explained that he does seem to have Green Seer type abilities, being able to almost warg these other creatures. Mm-hmm. So he's set this though. trap. It is lazy, it's it lazy. is. And it is, it's heartbreaking to see such a great show go down such a, a lazy it's route. It's still going to be okay. My question, like moving on a bit from like a, a single episode, is... What's in store for the Lannisters? We started to touch on it and then we went back to... Right. Fucking Cer- 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 Cersei is dead. But... <laughs> oh, she's Not gone, yet, like, but she's, she's going. She's <laughs> dead, for sure. Oh, My yeah. only consideration, though, is with Tyrion, is has he betrayed Jon and Daenerys? And, and that's, that's why, why he, he was given the wee view or is it just because he knows ah oh, fuck this is going to create problems do you think and he just knows who Jon Snow is I don't think he knows no I don't no, think he, he does now wrong guy knows <laughs> he, knows, he knows a lot of shit I, I don't think, think he knows that I think he's just I do jelly, think Littlefin- yeah. I do just think Littlefinger knew though do you think he wanted Finger Blaster yeah for sure it could be jealousy yeah Yeah. Uh, I quite buy into that there was a lot of people going on going on about the, the prophecy that Daenerys heard herself which was referenced in the, uh, the finale the, she'll face three betrayals sure. one for love one for money and no one can ever remember what the other one was two for the road that's <laughs> no that's what John gave her uh, okay. yeah. so <laughs> did you bring up the three betrayals there's been mentioned I think it was in the last podcast yeah it's been mentioned love a few times morning. but <laughs> do you have a theory on what on, on the betrayals the betrayal I for think Daenerys. I think Tyrion so. betrayed her for love because uh, everyone goes on about uh, Jorah betraying her for love Jorah didn't betray her for love he, he betrayed, betrayed her for money, money right? which was the other uh, betrayal I cannot for the life of me remember what the other one was and... theory on Danny's three treasons and Azura High first off let's remind everyone of Danny's three treasons prophecy three fires must you light one for life and one for death and one to love so life was f- for the dragons to be born. Death was to kill all of the cows in Vase Dothraki. Life, life pays for death as well was another part of that theory. And, and that's one, how she's going to get pregnant. And one for love. <laughs> I don't think we've seen the light the fire for love yet. So three mounts you must ride. One to bed and one to dread and one to love. Drogo, Drogon and John. And three reasons will you know... Once for sorry, three treasons. Will you know? <laughs> Close enough. Once for blood and once for gold and once for love. Once for blood. Once for blood. Or brother. Viserys. Brother, yeah. yeah. Viserys. Yeah. Viserys. Yeah. Once for blood. Once for love and once for gold. Yes. For gold. So that so was yeah. Okay. So we've not seen but a trail for them. If you join them up, if you join them up, it's three people. So you have in the first bit, it's the three fires you must like, must you like one for life, one for death, and one to love. Right, so you take the one for life, and then three mounts you must ride is one to bed, and three treasons will you know it's once for blood. So are three beddings. So, she... so once for life, one to bed, once for blood. So she lit Cal Drogo's Drogo. fire to bring, to life. bring the life to the dragons. She bedded him, bedded him and she... Tried to bear his child. Uh, the, betrayal, for him? the betrayal for blood was Viserys selling... Or oh, yeah, with the witch or Viser- Viserys selling her to Cal. Yeah, Mary Master betrays so. Danny. The cost of which was blood. The yeah. loss of Danny's yeah. child and husband, family blood. So she was betrayed for blood. Okay. Yeah, Don't Danny physically lit a fire to bring her dragons to life. Right. Um, and Danny has to bed Drogo as it was required to consummate the marriage. So problem with gripping saying, them though is the Drogon. Person. Yeah, because one mount to dread has to be Drogon, but Drogon didn't betray her in any other ways. And well, this, Willy, is, so. this is the thing, because what it's saying is person number two is his daughter Zalorak. Who, another one that suffered in the in the show, uh, the, the yeah. marriage that she had in Marine to his daughter uh, Zalorak, or whatever his name was. Um, a lot of people think he was going to betray her. But then in the show, he's just he's killed off by the harpies. Yeah, so she dre- like so yeah. She, she didn't dre- want to marry him. Danny but and she Drogon had to. set fire to Marine. She dreaded mounting him because she does not have any love or sexual attraction. And I remember her saying that to Dario as well. Yeah. And he betrayed Danny by convincing her that he would bring peace for ninety days if she married him. There you go. So there, that's it. Yeah. And then there's a third theory that Jon Snow is the final one. She'll bed him for love. And she will be betrayed by her love for Jon Snow in order to reforge Lightbringer. Um, the flaming sword of Azara High. And this act also serves as the part of the prophecy of lighting a fire for love. 
since the fire of her heart will burn within the blade. So Which will be long. So long. she dies. She sure. dies to bring around to reforge Lightbringer. The original Lightbringer was forged by the original hero, the chosen one, Azora High, whatever you want to call him. By he plunged the sword into the chest of the one he loved, and then when he drew it, drew the sword from the forge. It just took flame, and that's how he fought back. That, that was his like, third attempt. At yeah, because he himself. tried forging it in blood. He tried forging it in water. Um, it's great that he he plunges it into his loved one's heart to set it aflame, <laughs> and Thoris is just like, yeah, shortcut. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Easier ways, guys. So I've heard this was harder back in the day. <laughs> Shing. I mean, it still hurts, but you know, <laughs> flaming sword, guys. So yeah, that, that's that's the yeah, to say. I, do I think this breakdown of it on uh, this person on Reddit has put is actually pretty damn good um, for helping again people like me. That's where I plagiarise all my articles from. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, hashtag jokes. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if I said this last week, but how much does it cost to pierce the pirate's ear? Oh, I don't know. A buccaneer. Oh. Buccaneer. That's heartbreaking. Oh, it really dearie is. me. Yeah, this is what I get every every week. Every <laughs> he suffers too. <laughs> I do sometimes listen. See? More than others. More than Ian. Yeah. More than Ian. <laughs> so yeah, the Lannisters. Where were we with them? Well, Seven it started Seven snowing Seven. where Jamie was, so does that mean Jamie's going to encounter when, the Night King when are, straight away? Or when has come to King's Landing, that was the big uh, finale for that, is the Night King brings the storm as a whole, but winter has come for the whole continent. So it's snowing in Winterfell. It's never snowed in Winterfell. Uh, in uh, King's Landing, sorry. It's never snowed there. Mm. And that's, gonna... that's in fucking Malta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jamie and... Bit. Real life Malta. Yeah. Jamie and Tormund will end up in a fight-off for the right to marry Brienne. And I don't even know what side I want to take, to be honest, because <laughs> you've kind of grown to love Jamie. Imagine asking someone in episode one, hey, Jamie, what do you think? I and I, and now that. asking them. It's yeah. like, yeah, he's kind of like the MVP. I actually almost wonder if he's going to be the one that slays he's the Night King. Character. He is a Kingslayer. I reckon it at the end of season episode seven there. I yeah. honestly thought that the man was going to strike him gave And he, draw, he draws his sword. Yeah, know, yeah. Like, he drew his sword. Yeah. And like, I, was saying, I was saying last week, my little girl was sleeping on my chest at the time, so I was aware <laughs> of my heartbeat. <laughs> like, I could feel it. Oh, and it's like... It was proper, like... <laughs> It doubled, yeah. you know, and I'm like, oh my god! And then he just walked with, off. And like, I don't believe you, and just sort of turns away. With Tyrion, eh? With Tyrion, you didn't actually you knew it was believe a bluff. it. Yeah, well, you knew it was be- because was of that. that I thought they were going to kill Jamie. Yes, I was, at, well, I was at the yeah, stage yeah. where I thought if Tyrion goes here, that's fine because that's it. Like, he served his purpose. I can't see where his story would go now. But other than be, other than I betraying think to Littlefinger as well, I feel like they, yeah. they wanked a few of them out. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, Littlefinger, right? Can we just take a moment to discuss whether that was fine or whether that was another disgrace this season? The whole Winterfell plot. It, like, yeah, it was a disgrace. It was, it was rushed. There was, what? No, reason there was no reason for the season to be it, cut to seven episodes, and that's what's ha- this is what happens when you cut time off they, of a show. They they didn't know what to do with Sansa and Arya. So they had them they fight each the, other. The, the false tension between them, and I know it's. But when was it that they they actually said, "You know what"? They try and we expl- they try and explain it away. I think uh, the the way I've seen, I've seen it most commonly described was the interaction between them when Sansa finds the ma- the faces under the bed and uh, Arya hands exactly. her the dagger. That's her way of subliminally saying to her because she knows that Littlefinger's going to be listening through the keyhole because he's a rapey little bastard like that. <laughs> so instead of yeah, pans to the fireplace <laughs> you just, you just eyes see, yeah. upside down in the fireplace <laughs> just a little finger coming up over you know yeah so I, I think that was her way of saying you can trust me this is this is yours to do what you think and obviously we've seen that at some point Sansa's given her the dagger back uh-huh. So I mean, you don't see it in that scene. She doesn't give her the dagger back at this point. I think that's just it plot is, hole it's, city. It's, it's, it's plot hole city. I do completely agree. But, I think, and you shouldn't have to come out of this and, and explain and, it yeah, in and such even detail. Even the whole court scene where it was like the whole, "What do you make of these charges, Lord Baelish?" Uh, no, 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 you've done, <laughs> like, you've done it wrong. Going. There's like there's like a five hundred <laughs> like, oh, second pause. Yeah. What do you think of these charges? Lord Baelish is like, why with the pause you and know what could have been cool there though it's like a fucking Game of Thrones John Wick scene where Lord <laughs> Baelish just goes fuck this Arya goes to slit his throat he moves quickly she's dead before she hits the ground 
and then they all just go for him and he just fucking John Wick just a lot of them gun foo in it <laughs> double tapping and then pulls off the mask it's Jack and Hagar <laughs> who's really Ned Stark well, but, yeah, is that Arya shouldn't oh, be able to duel with Brienne shouldn't be able to duel with Brienne Arya she's not had that sort of training really she's, <laughs> she, got, she got it from the hound once and he slapped her stupid yeah she, she's, <laughs> she's like a whole cloak and dagger knife in the back type assassin she's not, she's a, not I can level. take on Brienne you remember when sword fight with a it's, it's the speed thing. It's like Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather to an extent, you know. If I swing a great sword at you and you're using a fucking needle, and you use that to try and parry my it's great gonna sword, it's it. gonna bend. It's gonna. I'm gonna keep and going. And both, both weapons is it are not a Valerian no. steel. No, Magic needles not in some way, right? If it was Valerian well, steel, I'd needles, the needles just a sword. Not. John just had it made for adamantium. Right, got you. Adamantium mode. Mm-hmm. That's the Cap Shield Wolverine's Claws thing again, isn't <laughs> oh, it? Oh dear. Go there. Did we have that debate on a podcast? Once? I think we did. Did we? I thought it was weird that they killed off Baelish simply because I always saw it feels him like and Barris more... yeah. op- they were each other yeah, yeah, totally. and maybe having I thought that was some, the real some, game. Yeah, thought... Littlefinger's another one that suffered because of the, the show's lightning pace. I mean, talking about the differences between the show and the book with Winterfell... Arya and Sansa's arcs entirely. Spoiler alert for those who are trying to read the books and aren't up to date: Sansa never got back to Winterfell. She's not. She never married Ramsay. Arya did, but it's not really Arya. It's somebody else dressed up as Arya, made to think the, that the Boltons have consolidated power in the North. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. it's a whole ridiculous cloak and dagger thing, and you know that Littlefinger is going to be behind it all. And going to ride to the rescue, not unlike what actually happened, but there's going to be this big dramatic reveal where that's not fucking Arya. That's not Arya. It's, it's Jane Poole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when Waif and Arya went into that cave, and Arya put out the candle. That Waif that was another her. one. That it just feels like it's a wasted moment. This should not be. Yeah. You know, Waif killed her. Comes back as Arya. Jacken can see right through it, and he's like, "On you go, then. You yeah. go do what you want to do." The, the whole problem I think they've had here, yeah, is that Game of Thrones was really a courtroom political type drama yeah. mm-hmm. set in medieval times and then that's they've finished. now reached the point where they're like it's high fantasy yeah. but that's not what it was about it's, an, no, it's a it different kind of it show it wasn't man. the Lord of the Rings it was more House of Cards if you watch that yes. yeah? yes. like, yeah, but now it's the it, final it, fights of the Lord of the Rings like the Two Towers or the Return and, of the yeah, King and it wasn't that I think it that's why I'm not that. digging it as much now yeah. I mean they're still great spectacles if it had been that from the start then that's fine but you're not, not risking you're not risking losing the, f- the fan base they've built up because they've deviated from their, their original setup. See, but I think they're enjoying the casual audience too much that's, yeah. that's a yeah. big part of the problem it's become so mainstream I don't want to sound like a fucking hipster douchebag but that's what it is the people who watch Game of Thrones or read Game of Thrones the series from the beginning or from 10 years ago or whatever they're now suffering because some dudes come along and like the dragons aha and <laughs> your reaction there. but the thing is even the casual <laughs> fans the casual fans don't realise it but they would even like it more if it had more yeah. of that because it, it hooked these people in the first place yeah. mm-hmm. just on merit of the plot the, the watching super cuts of the hound calling folk cunts you know that's, yeah. that's what gets you on board and then you find out it's some political drama you're like you know what this is a thinking man show I'm a thinking man <laughs> yeah I can, I can do the thinking man thing <laughs> that, that, that is definitely a, the problem with it Ever since it's became the the, the writer's yeah. property, I think they've Post gotten a little four. bit. Of, yeah. yeah, they've got a little bit of lazy, lazy. Season five was really just another problem we've now got another, as well as no, Tyrion this, leaving King's Landing. The, that's where he was at his best. Really, yeah, no question about it. And, uh, the well, that's where it scenes. was the most like House of Cards when Tyrion, when everything was the happening in King's Landing. Yeah. And we even saw that in the finale for that snippet when he was back in the room with Cersei. You just thought. Yeah, like this bit with Cersei, you realised just how good those scenes were with just the Lannisters fighting amongst themselves. Or Lena Headey just in general snarling her way through like every all scene. all of season five, it was just him on a boat with Jorah just doing nothing. And then all of season six, he wandered around the town once with Varys. Making and shitty then, jokes. Yeah. What do you think's in store for Jorah? Jorah. How he survived this se- this season was a fucking travesty. He to me. I mean, should have died up should, in the north. Yeah, he yeah. should have died a glorious death. As should have a number of the characters in that in the sh- do you beyond think he the should wall. Have been cured, or do you think he should have no, been? No, no, I'm dying. Not I'm going in that back way. It's too no easy. maester in the world can cure grayscale. So some, but you boy can who's been here for six how, months. Oh, I read the book. No. 
and yet he tries to, he tries to build around it by saying oh yeah but well the guy that did that died so you've done phenomenally well to do this well done it's still so cheap so lazy and it's kind of heartbreaking yeah um yeah he should he should have been left he, he should have left the citadel as he was told that he was going to be shipped off he should have left in the night that should be sam coming to rescue him instead of him being sent to valeria because that's where all the stone men were sent they're all mad so they all go and live together like a bunch of weird stone men as you Sounds do like it does kidding, kidding. he's not kidding though <laughs> So yeah, that should have been Sam coming to help him escape and uh, informing him of the same little story that you get between them, but thanking him for letting him go and live his life however he chooses to live his life. He wants to end his life, he can do that. He wants to go out in a blaze of glory, he can do that, but he, he has to succumb to his illness. Sounds too much like Game of Thrones season 1-4 to four to, for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> too much thinking, what dragons are... <laughs> too, much, too, too much thinking, too much... Not keeping all your your favorites alive. Yes. You know, like there's that no, was the, there's that no thing. Yeah. season seven feels now. There's a lot of plot armor in there. How Too how much. can you how can I keep this person alive? It used to be everyone could die at any time. I really hope Tyrion doesn't die. That, that was pretty much. And now it's kind of like Tyrion ah, dies. Was Tyrion dying. dies. We riot. I you know? loved the whole Suicide Squad type get together at the end of until none of them five. died. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> other no than, one yeah. dies. I know. I was like, other than John, John's gonna get out alive, of course, but. Any of the rest of them can John die. John should have died a and million times. And this is going to be like a whole door. He falls into the water and, and it doesn't die of hypothermia. <laughs> oh, Benjamin. That's, like, that's what killed Thor. Oh, Benjamin. Ben, like, what yeah. on earth? Right, well, that's it. I would have had no problem with Benjamin dying if they'd met up with Benjamin on the way up to meet the White Walkers. And then what had happened was he could he'd had them in this at the end yeah. and then Benjamin had said, no, save yourself, you get on the dragon. Why was there no time? See, a lot the there's white, no the, time. The whites were coming. Uh, but the, I, know but it's, I know it's stupid. Spank but. on the ass, the horse goes away and he's like, right, better you just, wind this bad boy up. You just, Bad's just, time. You just see him in the background shouting after him, you're not really a Stark. <laughs> and then he starts winding up his wee mace oh, of doom and dies. Because, you know. I'm sorry, but the Mace of Doom, the cape he was wearing, it was a chick's weapon, it was a chick's cape. <laughs> I was convinced it was Melisandre. It should have been Melisandre coming to save John. Should have been Melisandre. Swooping in on a dragon above. John does a superhero punch in the ground, Lord of Light, boom. Exactly. All done. What, w- wouldn't on. it have been weird if, 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 right. she'd, if she'd came up with her fucking spinning thing, right? But all the White Walkers were kind of wary of her just because... Oh, they she could, starts they going fucking Scarlet yeah. Witch. It was, it was great that Daenerys, when she got the raven, had time to quickly get herself into some tasty little outfit. And oh get my her god, yeah. Fucking like, like, fashion like, week. And, and, and also, let's, just, let's, let's make sure that everyone knows I'm going to turn up. So. Well, yeah, that's, that, that, that comes that back to what I'd said. Me. That's what that's one of the things I'd said that I would have done very differently. It would have been, don't show them yeah, getting the news. No. Don't have... Don't know that they're coming. Just have that be the tension. You don't know if those dragons are going to swoop down, but you do know. You kind of so knew it anyway. You knew it was going to happen, but then showing her leaving, it's just been like, yeah. it's cheap. Why, why, you know, why? You know, why the, only thing, the only thing that redeems any of episode six for me is that up until now, Daenerys has been a bit OP with oh, three yeah. dragons. It, it shows and you that they have vulnerabilities. to take down one to level the stakes because I think Viserion will end up taking down Rhaegal or something and Drogon will be left I think it'll but be Drogon that then, goes before Rhaegal you think? I even, think, even, I even think then the fact, that, the fact that she'll be down to one dragon by then that very much levels the stakes so I, if, that, if there's one saving grace it's that it balances things up for season 8 but I mean that is clutching at straws I'm really trying to give them credit where it's not due yeah. do you think that there is another dragon that fires ice and is an ice dragon it's no. a very popular theory from it's not ice. the ex- expanded no, no, universe no. No, there's, there's another one. There's oh, a theory know, that the, the wall was built upon an ice dragon. And in yeah, the, and it's the lore, massive. The lore of the expanded universe is that ice dragons are bigger than fire dragons. And they've been sighted off the coasts of Westeros. And there's been krakens that have been sighted. All the shite that's not in the show and any mention of it at all. But ice dragons were said to be three or four times the size of fire dragons. And their breath froze everything including fire I've got like visions of this just ending like Pacific Rim or something where like Kraken's coming out the sea yeah. and I'm like no this Nat- is, nature this fighting is back political for, drama the, the, anymore. for the good you know they end up something like the happening which is, you know, which the is fair enough but all. it should really end in a political drama like the, the, the like final it, fight it should happen, happen in episode 4 versus and then the they, Night King yeah, yeah and then they should have some political bullshit happening 
resolve the Lannister Stark yes, uh, Targaryen yes, fight. Yeah. Yeah. King and Cersei is the real final boss. I think yeah. what yeah. had to march back so I would kinda, decimated army to take them back. I think the forces mm. uh, of the Night King will continue trekking south. And eventually there'll be the last stand of uh, John and his forces or whatever's left of them at the neck just for talking's sake. And you'll have Cersei's new reinforced forces behind them and, and they're, the they're now company, stuck. Yeah. You'll have Cersei's forces with the Golden Company and whatever she's managed to salvage That's from down south and have them meet in the middle. She's attacking them from the back. The Night King's continually advancing on them. And somehow have John be really lucky and pull off some ridiculous boomerang throw with Longclaw, kills the Night King, Cersei retreats like the little shitbag that she is back to King's Landing, and then have the siege of King's Landing, or then call a parley. And I, I think it'd be the mutiny of the of the people King's would Landing. come up against the the last of the Lannisters by this point, James. And they all start chanting Misa, Misa, Misa. <laughs> not Karen quite like Daenerys not quite like that. She's not, not like she's not getting that far. She's dying for Lightbringer. Every, Misa? <laughs> will we <Don't>. see <laughs> a major character or major enough character die pretty much every episode? You have yes. to. You have to. I think you will. Start think with the hound. Now, I will kinda... so many of them dying so quickly one after the other detract from their deaths? Like, can you imagine uh, it, Jamie it dies like routine and then 20 story. minutes later Arya dies? How much, you know, for example, how I much of a... Okay, oh. yeah. <laughs> like, How bad would would that be? Would it be bad? Would it be good? Yeah, I think I think it would cheapen it, but it's a problem they're just going to have to deal with. I don't think Harry will die. No, I, I think she'll survive. I don't know Arya if any of the others is will. George R. R. Martin's wife's favourite yeah, character. Yeah, she's not so allowed to die. So I cannot really see her That's die. Right. I... Uh, I wonder who, who do you think will be the first major character to snuff it in the new season? There's probably going to be to one person it. per episode. So As a minimal. I, 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 I think it has to be more, to be honest. I do think it has to be more. You've got so many major characters. You've got this episode four you're talking I, about is going to end up being like a massive battle of the bastards esque. I think episode. the remaining Starks and Lannisters, par possibly Bran, will all make it to the very finale. Maybe Cersei as well. I think Bran's death will kill the Night but, King. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but all of the others, all of the lesser tier, <clears throat> the Hound, <clears throat> Tormund, Beric, Brienne, well, there's a mess with all Tormund of them, as well. yeah, yeah, like all you... of these guys could well be slaughtered one at a time, trying to really build it up. And one of Daenerys or Jon will sacrifice themselves for the other. Oh, absolutely. I think possibly Jon, so that his baby that Daenerys is going to have will then continue the they're, they're not going to kill a pregnant. They're not going to kill a pregnant woman on the show. Then. Oh, they absolutely should though. They, um, they won't. The closest, they, the closest they came. That was amazing. Yeah. And also when Ramsay fed his mother-in-law and <laughs> son to the dogs. See, that was one of the few. Oh, I can do it. They should be more graphic recent, with that. Yeah, that was one of the few oh, no, episodes in recent have. series though when I was genuinely feeling sick. See when Ramsay. Held his little. You wonder in what his is arms. this monster going to do? I really do? thought he was going to like you just, just bash throw it against, him on yeah, the, bash it against the thought, wall or something. Are they going to cross this line? That, See, I that would have made him awesome. For me, Ramsey was a fucking pussy you compared to Joffrey. Absolutely, you should have just went boom, <laughs> just launched <laughs> it at the wall and been like, "I'm fucking Ramsey well, Bolton." That's that it. would drop Don't catch that in my day like a ball. <laughs> so you it would drop a pussy, so, so did you not enjoy like? No, portrayal I've not enjoyed anything, it that much since season four. But you didn't even think that Iwan Rion did a good job of salvaging what was left of the show. He was, he was, he no. was carrying what was left of that show at the come that point. I think, I think so. I, I think it. We, it and it's such a shame. I just kind of thought guy. you're not Joffrey, and you're also uh, not thought, you're you're not Joffrey, and you're he was older. worse than Joffrey. He was wasn't worse than Joffrey. If he was a pussy, then Joffrey was. Fucking, I don't know what he was. He was jo- Joffrey more... was actually a pussy though, Joffrey's advice which made him was, even worse. He had a face she wouldn't tie the punch. I know, and it was when you know? he was hopping well, around didn't tie the, like, the high times the either, table, really going like, "Show him, mother, show him," and everything with the little scrolls and that. And you're like oh, hiding you're behind her skirt. Oh, you're just a dick. I just figured out who Bran's going to die. <laughs> right, how's he going to die? We, we got there like an hour ago. Carry on, <laughs> but carry on. No, it's different way. Different way. All right. He's going to turn into Joffrey. He's going to brand back in time now, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> no. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> he's borged he's in, in the David. What's going on? And I'm here. Um, no, Bran's going to be searching his files, so to speak. 
<laughs> archives. <laughs> going through the archives. Cerebro. <laughs> and he's going to figure out. Soft paper clips just popped up. <laughs> I see you're trying to. I see you're trying to avert the apocalypse. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You bastard. Fuck off. Would you like to index these files? <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> I think that what's going to happen is Bran is going to be doing his, you know, thing. Uh, I think, yeah. And uh, he's going to figure out, if he, if he is indeed the Night King, he's going to figure out that he actually is the Night King. And he's going to kill tell, tell Arya that she needs to kill him. It's going to have to be a Stark that slays him. So yeah. Arya kills him and he drops before he kills well, Jon Snow because Jon Snow so- always has to almost die but not actually die. When you see Bran giving Arya the dagger, he does almost seem reluctant to part with it. It's like he knows that she's going to do something fucking mental yeah. with that blade. Maybe he has kind of seen a flash of her killing someone. Maybe he doesn't know it's him. Maybe he's just interpreted that she's going to do something terrible with that blade, but she needs to have it. Because... He, he's, Although Sansa's got it now. Even no, she uh, she gave she it back to Arya. Arya um, used. When uh, they're talking, of, oh okay. Good. Arya slit Littlefinger's throat with it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I you see it when he's he's holding it, and it's wasted on a cripple. He he says it is no use to him. But as she takes it, he still seems almost reluctant. So I feel like he, he maybe knows that she's going to do something substantial, uh-huh. terrible but substantial. But maybe he doesn't know yet what it is. And that would tie very much into that'd what you just said. That'd be a sweet line if he was like, "Do you know what? I should. Just, I just wish Mom had let the the guy kill me." Yeah, with that same dagger. With that same dagger, and we would have heard all this. Oh, if Jamie just pushed him a little harder. Mm. And I'm not really sure. Oh, that's I how want. It works. I want them two to meet. Well, that's what I said earlier on. Their reunion, like who he meets first when he's going north, is going to depend. Like, it's going to determine how quickly he dies. If he meets Arya first, and she she's gotten wise as to why like everyone hates him she'll kill him like no I don't think she'll hesitate she would kill him and if he meets t- well although he's not on our list true and if she if but he meets Cersei. Tyrion first because he puts she knows. Tyrion in a right weird spot and that whole dynamic of did he betray John and Danny? did he not really comes into play when it's like no don't kill my brother he's actually a decent guy and yeah, Cersei, I know, I know and they uh, call him the Kingslayer but oh, that and Daenerys, was, that's Daenerys has already mistake. questioned his loyalty as well so you have to—he has to be aware of that as well. And the, the comment she made, where she said, "You are—you really, really are the dumbest Lannister," yeah. because he's not willing to kind of lie or make that kind of. What did he? Can, he can't. Yeah, he, he doesn't. He doesn't realize that what she said was a lie, mm-hmm. which does kind of lend weight to the fact that Tyrion has betrayed mm-hmm. Daenerys by saying, "Well, well they'll stay down." Tyrion is a lot of things, but he's not. I think for the, dumb. For the oh, no, greater really. good. You know, and he, at the end of the day, he's a Lannister. But what he was, said, he specifically said that he doesn't want to see. Done for for the greater good, it's not for the greater good though. Like, no. Well, the greater good of the name. He doesn't want to see his house uh, extinct. He he said it himself. Oh, does it's so against his character. It is. It really is because. But is it because he he always wanted his father's approval, and maybe by making sure that Cersei stays queen and, and he then said that he did say his grandson is the heir to Cersei I've dreamed about killing you more times than I can count so but why he would, would never he do it he, never but he, said, kill he, someone, but he said he would never do it he also would do something do a whole bunch of and then, things for he them really, the realisation he really does believe in Daenerys though the, I know the realisation that she's pregnant though that, cha- that, that changes the whole tone because of the conversation he, he believes in John because he says that he loves their children he loved their children so much that I, I would do it, he would do anything for them I'd be gutted and it, 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 would, it, would, it would kill so many people last thing before we wrap up the Greyjoys what's happening with the Greyjoys next season I don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a general they're f- boring like as shit like, it's, like it's, it's been good is, seeing Theon's oh. redemption arc but it's carried on far Theon. too long uh, yeah. he, he will kill he should have died saving Sansa Oh yeah, yes. yeah, definitely. Yes. I completely agree with that. Mm-hmm. He will, he will kill his uncle, and I don't think he will. I think he'll enable. He's not yeah, hard enough. I know he's not hard enough. Yeah, his uncle will try and kick him in the balls. <laughs> See that whole fight like, as that, well. Yeah, it was like he had taken so much of a pasting, but then that guy, because he has a little bit of asthma or whatever, and was puffing a little bit, suddenly he can get the whole upper hand. No. Was it? No, he was on the brink of death. There's no way that he would. Be that was able to BS. Run it, oh, it was. And it, it would have been better if he hadn't have killed him. If he just. If he beat him, but was kind of like, you know, what, I'm not going to kill you. 
Men, let's all go. Pick them up. I, if they do, I, get I, I admire your courage. I like continue in the get up or yeah. something. Yeah. But, I mean, geez. like we're all like the whole like we're all brothers of the Ironborn. Uh, at the end of the day, let's do, the, let's do this. Don't leave a man yeah. behind. Don't leave Yara behind. Blah yeah. blah blah. But no, but, I'll just kill him. Cold blood. It's kind of like he, when he was on the brink of death himself. Do you it's think ludicrous, Euron yeah. would betray Cersei? No question about it. Oh yeah, absolutely no the question about are... it. Do you think Euron's the the best new character of the show? Hell yes! Do you think he could end <laughs> Did, up being the saviour of the show in the same way the Knights of the Vale were in the Battle of the Bastards? Like he'll, the, he'll rescue them in one of the battles, I don't doubt. Perhaps when they're retreating south at uh, one of the uh, coastlines, he'll fire off a barrage of those ridiculous mortars they seem to have des- developed and wipe out a bunch of the, the Night King's army and allow them some time to retreat. And then Viserion will, or undead Viserion will mortars start. Mortars will kill them, though, eh? Fire. If, mortars? Fire kills the Mortars? Yeah, you seen it when the the Greyjoy ship battle in episode when they had one or two, Casterly Rock, and you see it in the the battle battle at Castle Rock. Two, and yeah. they attack and all the sand snakes get killed and stuff. Yeah, they they're <laughs> just like a panic. that ridiculous entry from Euron where he's riding this like bridge down. Uh, like, I mean, it was cool <laughs> as fuck, but it was so like it's so over the top. But that's why it's awesome. <laughs> but it was, it, it that would have happened he, in season was, one, though. He was a no. Captain Hook. Like, but that was panto, brilliant. Panto oh, it was, it was a panto entry. He's a panto there. villain, but yeah, that, no he's, he's so... Like, I didn't like him when he first came into it. No but this whole really season, does. he's an absolute it's boss. It's like they've completely reinvented him entirely. Yeah. Uh, it's still not book accurate, but I don't really care about that kind of thing. And he was brilliant he's in Ghost in the Shell. He's top in the book as well. It's like how, they've, it's like how they've reined in Dario and Harris, because yeah. he was all blue haired and everything it's like yeah it would have just been far too much there is actually another theory I wanted to ask about if quick, you've uh, got if you've got the time I have time you have time so I've been looking into theories in preparation for this I know a thing or two about theories splurging a whole bunch about them reading them on the Buff Geek podcast on website I would hope yes <laughs> indeed indeed. <laughs> only that website only there yeah. um, but I wanted to ask you about Jack and Hagar <laughs> Because you said something a little while ago about him being Ned Stark, and I am more inclined to believe that he's Rhaegon. Uh, Rhaegar Rhaegar, Targaryen. Rhaegar, sorry. Yeah, so that kind of ties in two ridiculous theories that just won't go away, unlike the characters they died. Um, Rhaeg- oh, a- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopes and dreams, thanks. <laughs> there's a theory that Rhaegar Targaryen didn't die at the Battle of the Trident. Because it's been established that rubies can be used to glamour people like what Melisandre does. And wearing that necklace doesn't stop her from transforming. In season three, I think, she's seen taking a bath mm-hmm. with Celise, um, Stannis' wife. Her necklace is on the table. She is nearby, but she's not wearing it. So they made this big deal about her taking this necklace off and it turned her into this old woman. But that it doesn't... That, it, doesn't it doesn't follow their own... Uh, Continuity. Their well, own well, well, I yeah. want to ask you if there, if there was a reason for that or they just fucked up. I think they just fucked I up. Think, yeah. yeah. So the theory is... New that, writers. The, the theory is that they <laughs> sent someone else as a placeholder into uh, the battle with Rhaegar because he was said to be a phenomenal warrior and how some essentially drunkard Robert granted high on power would slay him in battle but he was supposedly like a total beast in his day he just swung that hammer and uh, if something like got in the way but Rhaegar wouldn't must, get in the he way he must have been because the hound who's pretty respect hard himself him. respected, respected him but I think that's more that he's the that, king yeah. so did the, uh, so did was the like, mountain though yeah that's true yeah, he, he throws like, his sword down in rage I, and, and I, I know do by agree. that point he I'm, was overweight and everything but he I, must I think, have had respect as being a I kind of I undersold him there I didn't mean him to say that he was useless but not on, a, on not on Rhaegar's level. Yeah. But it, was, it comes back to what David was saying earlier about speed. Rhaegar was seen to be a great warrior, not unlike his son uh, Jon Snow. He was possibly holding his own with the likes of Sir Arthur Dayne, who yeah. was meant to be the best in the kingdom. He was known. He was known that, across yeah. the lands as the best sword on the continent, possibly the, the world. Uh, so the thought of them, like the thought of Robert following this, like known legendary warrior, it doesn't sit right with a lot of people. So the theory. When Robert smashed his warhammer into the chest, and Robert says this himself, I can't remember if it was in the show or if it was just in the books, but rubies erupted from the chest plate, and people were still trying to uh, sift them. them up out of the water. Now, I think it was in the show actually. I cannot remember, but it's, it was... it's said to be about Rhaegar's uh, rubies, and I can't remember if they specify it or not. But they were saying that the body couldn't be identified because Robert had made such a mess of it. Yeah, perhaps it wasn't Rhaegar. Uh, the extension of that theory is that Mance Raider is actually 
Rhaegar Targaryen. Yeah. He looks so different. He though, does look so him, different. Yeah. yeah so could, that kills they that. They could theory. not have got someone who looked more like Viserys if they tried for that one Rhaegar shot. Yeah. He looked so I think it's the. I do think it is the wig, uh, and is, they use yes, favorable yeah. angles. But I, I had to check it myself. I was convinced it was the same actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, um, the theory. So the popular theory is that that Rhaegar was actually uh, was in hiding, but couldn't go to his wife or. Uh, whatever you want to refer to Lyanna as but she was actually his wife as we now know he then retreated north because the war was over he heard that his wife was dead he doesn't know that there was children so he's retreated north and then united the free folk because that's what Mance Raider did he un- he went across the, the wild lands and united the folk to bring them south to end the Targaryen uh, to end the, the Lannister so, rule which would be hilarious if this was true because he was being burned and that wouldn't have killed him but John well, shot him, that actually... therefore his son killed him. <laughs> yeah. Skywalker-esque, isn't it? Isn't it just? The, that does also tie into the books, though. Not all Targaryens are fireproof. It's to do with blood magic. Daenerys isn't exclusively fireproof, which isn't immune to burning. They're resistant to it. But when magic is in play, they become fireproof. Quite like George that. R. R. Martin's actually said that the whole scene with her burning all of the cows will not be in the books. Yeah. That, it was a one-off her going into the funeral pyre it makes her one. so overpowered if you were to make them fireproof see yeah. I found it quite funny watching the first episode again where she goes into the bath and someone says my lady it's it's too hot it's too hot or something like that and she just goes in completely unfazed and it's totally like she's you know see at the time you think that she just doesn't care because she knows she's being she, sold she, by yeah, her brother yeah. and she's going to get fucking raped but it turns out she's actually thing. fireproof but she's not really mm-hmm. yeah so yeah what about the Ned Stark thing then you the, said so no one really wanted Ned Stark to die. Everyone loved Ned Stark except Cersei Lannister, apparently. And you see it, and as his as his own sword is being swung down to his head, you see him. He looks up and he mutters something. Now, all Starks are wargs, as stated in the books. All Starks can warg to some extent, but not all of them can embrace it. Not all of them can control it. So a lot of people think that he may have warged into someone or something else. But another theory is that Jack and Hagar, one of the faceless men, was in the cells. Because somebody, maybe Varys, paid him and one of his men to swap places with Ned Stark. So it's been shown that you don't have to be dead for them to take your face. Because Jack and Agar wore Arya's face in the House of the Black and White. when mm. uh, Just before she was made blind in her lesson. Fuck me, imagine Ned was still alive. Well the theory Wouldn't goes that, that Jack and Hagar is actually Ned Stark. But why wouldn't he reveal himself? He's such a family man. He's wanted to reunite his family if, if he's going to have done anything. Unless to truly become man Jack and Agar, you have to become no one. So, so it does tie around. That's why he pushes Arya so hard to become no one. Unless but it's also why he lets her go. The family man thing was an act. No. And, and, and Ned had the abilities. <laughs> so you don't think that Jack and Agar is I, I love, Rhaegar? I, no. I, I love the theory. Like both of them. I love the Rhaegar is alive theory. I love the Ned is alive theory. But it's... It's too much stretching, I think. The only Ned theory I can buy into is right before his head is chopped off, he, he glances Bran. up and he, he looks Bran. up and sees, sees Bran. He sees Bran, Bran right uh, beside the statue. I, compl- I, th- I don't doubt for a second we're going to see that. He's going to know. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all. And and the whole Bran was the one whispering in the Mad King's ear on that. I, quite I like can that. kind of yeah. buy into all of that as well. Yeah, because yes. you've seen the Mad King in visions from Bran and everything as well. In yeah. the same way that Mira shouting, hold the door, hold the door, That's led in, yeah. to Hodor turning the way he did. The Mad King's Bran not necessarily saying burn. in the yeah. middle of a fight where someone else is, like there's White Walkers and someone's burn like, them burn all. them all, burn them all, burn them all, and the Mad King's The, going, mad, oh, the mad King's not actually saying burn Bran all the innocents. the future? Or was that just a mistake in the show? Can what? Can Bran see the future, or was it just a mistake vision, in the didn't show? He? He he a vision, didn't he? There's, there's been a couple of visions. Of visions. There's, blowing up before it there's been a couple up. of visions, because you've seen one, it if was a few years ago. Motion, you, you see, see that Bran, in a vision, I think it was in season six, yeah. you've seen a dragon silhouette flying over King's Landing. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, you've seen the other vision when the uh, Three-Eyed Raven was downloading all of his data into Bran. That means something else to some people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uploading too. <laughs> but yeah, um, I do believe that Bran can see the future in the same way that he can see the past, but he can't access it so readily. He, he might not know, know how to. where it is. Yeah. He needs to index his files correctly. And yes. The paperclip on Microsoft uh, can help him out <laughs> Looks with like that. Looks like you are writing a letter. <laughs> so you don't think Jack and Agar is anything more than what he is right now? You don't think not that in the he's going to be a more special character? Not in the show. He has a much bigger role in the book. 
but that's a story for another day, really. Oh, I, know, okay. like, I think we've seen the last of him in the show. I think oh, yeah. I think we've seen the last of Vessos in the show. Actually, they're not. I don't think they're even Westeros now. I don't think they'll they'll go back across now, the no. Narrow Sea. No. I don't think so. Like Dario and Harris and all them. That I think that's Gone. all been yeah. done. Yeah. Trim the fat. They've they, they've trimmed so much already. To cut him off now means nothing to them. It means a lot to some people. I understand why they're doing it, but I don't like it. I don't get why they've, they've cut the, the episodes down. Because this feels like they could have because done a little bit more travel, a little bit more of like tying up some people in a more satisfactory way. Because they the actors way. by the episode, and they needed more budget to spend on the CGI this season. Are you so kidding me? By, that's, no, that's, seriously. So by cutting out three episodes, they cut millions of pounds worth of salaries, because it's like a million an episode at least. Oh, yeah, John, yeah. Cersei uh, no, if I remember Wallace. correctly it's actually closer to 10 million per episode yeah. the budget the actual budget yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we talked yeah. about this last week yeah. I'm sure oh. I shared it in the group chat as well like, it's, it now costs like 10 million per episode and it's, that's a disgusting sum of money but the money they must make though I mean as I've seen right some good prices like, alle- allegedly so all the downloading of Game of Thrones and all this kind of stuff doesn't make a fucking difference to them apparently yeah because nah. people are downloading they're still watching the it the last back. two episodes were record numbers of viewers I think it's been record numbers every episode so far like they've just broke record after mm-hmm. record after record despite every episode bloody leaking early <laughs> I'll continue to watch season 8 just to oh, see how it ends I want, oh, but, same. but yeah. see even if it does have the most fantastic ending I don't think I'll watch any of the spin-offs I think I've I want to see Robert I'm done it I, I would love to, to, see, to. I want that's to see if that's one of the ones on, in production I would love to see that to see if it's based on truth or a lie well, his yeah, lie yeah. or Liana's They'll lie. They'll probably reveal that in the show, I think. Yeah, and also Robert's Rebellion's not one of the five that's up for Which is ridiculous. It's the one that people want to see the most. Yeah. Cause I, short I, of Aegon's Conquest. I want to know if that he knows hilarious. she ran off and married him or if he believes she got raped. It would that, explain why he that, hates Targaryen so much. And it would change Robert's character and people's perception. It makes him a lot like, less Everyone just thought he was a more whores, more boars. What is it he does? He goes hunting whores and fucking boars or whatever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> more <laughs> wine, boy! <laughs> Start the tournament before I piss myself! <laughs> <laughs> he is quality, though, oh, eh? He was phenomenal. It was it's a shame so to see him good. go, especially in such an unceremonious when fashion. When we were but... watching the, the first episode, I said to Ash, you recognise him, Shley? No. Phil Monty. And then, well, no, and then it goes, <laughs> Jack Frost, and she goes, Oh! Like, <gasps> yeah, I have to I have to market it like with kids' films and Christmas films, and that's where she'll get it more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. I used to film Is that Monty. why I didn't understand what you meant by Jack Frost? Yeah, and Jack Frost, Michael Keaton plays the dad. That's the vulture from Spider Man Home. Oh, yes, I, yeah, I realise uh, that, but what is Jack Frost? He was Batman before that. He, he, he oh was, my god. He's not a very good dad because he's a musician. He dies, he becomes a snowman, but Mark Addy. Michael Keaton? Yeah. Yes. But Mark Addy is like. He, he was war- he short of money at some point? He wargs into a snowman and it's, it's a real. It's a warm kid. It's a snowman. I'm trying to keep it relevant. How have you seen this? Do you have kids also? No, I babysit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you were younger, though. <laughs> Did it? If I'm ever looking to feel good about myself, I'll, I'll watch crap films. David always has got suggestions for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> he sits there nothing nodding. Wrong. Nothing wrong with Tekken. Tekken is my favourite oh, shite. Film. I have never seen that. It Don't. is shite, but Don't. I like it. For is it shite like, like Street Fighter was shite, or is it? Actually, shite. Raul Julia, like, though. Like Street Fighter was brilliant. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, the fights in it are pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, like and not in Street Fighter and Tekken. Uh, no, the fights. I, the fights <laughs> we make the same noises <laughs> both times. Why <laughs> the burden is quite hard. All of these ones like Sharknado and oh, Mega Shark v Giant Octopus and that. They're, the they're thing is, you wouldn't you good. wouldn't say no to the payday, would you? Of course not. You'd be like, okay. I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> no, but that's that's the problem, I think. And all you've got to do is hope that you get you like luck into something like Game of Thrones or fucking Netflix. <laughs> well, kind, it's kind of how it happened for um, Peter Dinklage. You know, he had a lot of nearly roles. He was never really a go-to man, short of anything. <laughs> short, short of anything, but comic relief. Between MC Ita, yeah. <laughs> Almost <laughs> when he's standing on the third step. <laughs> But yeah, get he gets get he, he got into Game of Thrones and now he's a go to, he's an A lister, you know. It costs a man absolute mint to score him in one of your your projects now. I'm still so happy that he's he's managed to get some, some good coin. Just because I watched him in Nip Talk like in 2003 and I was like, this guy is fucking amazing. But then you didn't so see him in anything else. Actors, I think. Yeah, so many of them are. Is Kit Harrington a good actor? 
Because I think if I think he sticks to his niche role of as Jon Snow type character, he could but, do that. But but he's not going to be Jon Snow very much longer. And that no. Pompeii film was apparently Flawed. gash. Daenerys, she was awful in Terminator. Terminator. She's been awful in a lot of stuff. I yeah. don't rate Amelia Clark that well. No. I also think that well, it Sansa, depends what the scale is. <laughs> yeah, I think Sophie Turner and Maisie Williams are poor as well. To be honest, no, I, Maisie Williams has a couple of decent. There's uh, she does a couple of Netflix films. Mm-hmm. I watched her in one. I cannot remember the name of it now, which doesn't really help Unfriend, my argument. No. Yeah, it wasn't Unfriended that I watched I recently, but she was quite good I... in that. But Lena Headey in that, Nikolai Coster Waldo, all they are just one, different Peter class. Dinklage, they are the Lannisters are unreal. basically the Lannisters unreal. are real. But yeah. these are yeah. these are actors who'd acted much before. Whereas... Even the Hound isn't that great an actor because he, he's just being. But Scottish anyway, life in them, yeah. you know. <laughs> Anyone could really act. He's that. Been a, it's been a lord, a lad. Sit there, shout, a cunt, eat chicken. You know, I, I, I'd I love think, to get paid to do I that. Think the mountain has been fantastic the last few seasons. Every line he has, he has the best dialogue. With no question. Yeah, fantastic. Like really, really good. Just the way that he kind of stands there and just puffs his chest out. You think, yep, yeah, that's who's it. The mountain. The mountain. Oh, the are you, are you Are you enjoying that sarcasm? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Lap it up. Lap it up. They are the same height. I saw it from a different angle. They're meant. They're the same height, and yeah. I don't understand it because. But they're not. <laughs> because they're not. Because the mountain is six foot eight, and Rory McCann, I think, is six four. I think it's six four or six five. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not exactly short, as I know, but. <laughs> He's like half an inch shorter than me, but I'm going with it. Yeah, well, <laughs> just nod, you know. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it while he Give can. you some leeway, you know. Mm. See yeah. if you just made that into a mohawk. You'd like, <laughs> Towering over everyone. Yeah. You'd get one of those wire frames to help Jesus. with it. No, I'll, I'll pass. Well, so do you think that someone else played the mountain for that one scene? Like I think they it was just up? a percept, like how they shot the scene, like a perception trick. I think the they need to make like it the believable were that the how yeah, they stand up folk. to him. I think that's what they're doing. It's all down to perception, I think. They've they've shot that specifically to show. But that would mean that Brienne is the same height as the mountain as well. Yeah. Which is a bit of a hole they've left themselves, but they didn't show them. If the mountain killed the hound and she stepped in. Or was about to and she and he kills her. But that means the hound's been a fucking bitch forever. Yeah, he's not actually done anything. I, I think except get it, it might be. It might be more saved like more lives of main characters than any other character. Has Jamie? he? Mm-hmm. Except Ned. Because, you know, well, Ned dying allowed all of the Lannisters to live and their children and everyone that took their side. Mm. But yeah, the Hound has saved more lives, more main characters' lives than any other main character, short of Ned. So Gendry, Gendry. Gendry. Anything about Gendry before you go, lads? Anything about Gendry? <laughs> Gendry. Uh, Gendry has served he, his purpose. He, just, he, he just was brought back as fan service. Yeah, is he, is he his... written out now? Is he just basically nothing? I, I hoped they would have honestly had him in a gym for three years and then brought him back. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. And then when they brought him back, I was like, oh, this is still He's cool. Not but like, you're still pretty much just Gendry. This looks a bit older. Yeah. It's cut his hair. Yeah. It's Christian Bale. Oh, it's really <laughs> like fucking Christian Bale now. Why is Batman in Westeros? What is going on? I'm not the blacksmith you need or you deserve. Yeah, but, um, yeah I think that's, that's pretty much it. I think we touched on them very briefly. The Night King took most of our time. It's Damn it, Bran! Again, yes, the Night King. In episode six, somehow. Yeah. Having and you said all the way through, oh, he's so one dimensional, you can fill an hour and three quarters talking about the Night King. Yeah. Well, apparently, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, you are right, though. It needs, to be, it needs to be someone so you go, oh, that's cool. So but it would be so, it'd be so, so cheap. Because even it's in not like he's a good he's with a... Sauron, you had so much backstory of the actual Sauron. Whereas the Night King, it's just, yeah, he's this icy fucker. He resurrects a few folk. Watch out Almost for like Jaws. You know, it's like he can eat people, he will eat people. We're going to need a bigger wall. I don't think the size of the wall was really the issue. No, it was never going to stand. Nothing stands up to magical blue fire that fire that kills whites but doesn't kill a white dragon. You know, it's it's all to do with the magic. It's it's bullshit. But that's kind of the way that they've gone with their storytelling in Game of Thrones. It's yeah, we know it doesn't really work, but look at the dragon go. Look at it! Look at it! We've had normal fire, we've had green fire, we need blue fire! I don't think it's that difficult to make things make, to have things make sense sometimes. Given the lengths they'd gone to to keep everything 
Although it's it's a it's, a, sad, away from it's each a fantasy other. show, so you need to have the suspension of disbelief. You know that you've got zombies, you've got ice monsters, you've got giants, and that's fine. Ah, I'm, I'm okay. But there's with rules it. that you've lived with. But, but they have. Rules. I mean, I, we touched on it earlier on when we were talking about that's how Thoros died rules. with his. He died with his hypothermia. He died because of the wounds and the, the freezing temperatures. John plunges into an icy lake, which is cold enough to th- freeze thick for a dragon to land on and rescue them. John plunges into that, comes out. Yeah, he's shown to be shaken up, but he then takes a twenty-mile trek down back down to Eastwatch. He's a fucking Targaryen. His body temperature is just awesome. He's resistant to heat. He's not resistant to cold. Mm. Mm. Why did he, he go on a boat? Mm. Why did they go on a boat? Uh, to show strength. They covered that in the episodes. Did uh, they? Yeah, they they. Because because like, Sir Jorah got total like mad jealousy. Like, Return oh, to that friend zone need, you tried to step from. Mm-hmm. You'd better fly up there, Khaleesi, in case someone shoots you. Nah, I'm needing some boat sex, so I'll, I'll just go with John, thanks. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> it's going to be, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> he actually said that, just straight, and then continued on with the meeting. Because back to John, he's just like... I've not, Whoa, I've what? not gotten it's, laid knows nothing. in months. <laughs> I haven't even boat Does sex. anyone feel like Sir Jorah needs to get like a fucking whore or something? Oh, just yeah. He needed an honourable death, Tyrion is what he fucking needed. needs to get him to some brothel in the north and just get him laid. Well, Tyrion did say that the brothels in King's Landing are superior to anywhere else in the land. Yeah, I don't think Tyrion can just walk about in King's Landing. And... When he's the king. Maybe. So he's the, he's your he's your choice for the king? I want to say yeah, but I don't think there'll be an Iron Throne come the end of it. I think they're going to go with a whole new government system. They're going to restructure they've, they've everything. They've that with yeah. the whole Tyrion. Oh, what about democracy? Yeah, <laughs> to, to and it's, it's going to turn into this... The Westeros Nationalist we'll Party. That this, it's kind of going to... Yeah, it's going to go down that route of let's do it this way because it's so much better. We can vote in our leaders, which... Yeah, it does work, but it's so open to corruption. Not that I'm saying the system's corrupt. It is. But that's, I think that's the route they're going to go down, is they're going to have their yeah, different... The Night King turns up at Winterfell and it's, we're here to protest our right to free speech. <laughs> 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 no more gender in our schools. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to wear a skirt, I'll wear a skirt. I'm the Night Queen. <laughs> And you will address me as such. <laughs> because I identify that way. Well, I identify as a fucking seal. My pronouns are them, there, and theirs. <laughs> <laughs> this took a weird I feel turn. sorry for you because you're the one that's got the kids going to school coming home and saying, I'm not a little girl, daddy. I am I'm a... I'm just... I'm a little she, person. She, she, <laughs> sir. Bleu. Nope. Girls. I'm a rabbit. For because- now. I'm not choosing my... Uh, anyway, we're not going into that. Let's, Let's just... <laughs> put a pin in that. Yeah. We'll put a pin in that. that. Never. <laughs> right, well... I love everybody. That... And I hate everybody. <laughs> Speaking that... of which, over to you, Big Man. Thank you. That was our Game of Thrones uh, theories and predictions. I don't know if we, how <coughs> much of it we chat actually chat. got through. We, it kind of feels like we, we probably need to do another one. We may do. We might but, do. I don't know. Well, we're kind of like Terry, and we touched on everyone at some point. That's so. true. That was Jimmy Savile. I uh, was. Leave him alone. Everyone fucking slates him, right? But he fixed it for me to milk a cow blindfolded once. So nice. Spoiler alert, it wasn't a cow. Leave him alone. <laughs> I wish he did. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, he knew, didn't stop. <laughs> There's some guy in the States, actually, who... who said basically he was molested by some priest but he he actually wanted it ah, so he seduced the... Trump no <laughs> no, <laughs> no I can't to step away from him leave that yeah, that one he never built the wall I wanted so he's in the bad books for me Westeros, he never created all the jobs but with the ice no he should have built an actual fucking wall and then a dragon comes up and goes <sighs> But yeah. it's an undead dragon that has holes in its wings, so it's okay. Yeah. So Donald know, Trump's the Night King. Donald Trump is the Night King. Yep. Wouldn't that make confirmed? <laughs> wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? <laughs> and he would do it as well if they asked him. He would totally do it because he loves the fame. They would just need to oh, get like a, a wee leg or something. Okay. Although, why is the Rock not being in Game of Thrones yet? Ed Sheeran is the Night King. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell! Yeah, well, that Ed, was Sheeran, awful. Ed Sheeran is Jack and Hagar. <laughs> it's actually Ned Stark. <laughs> that was. That was painful as well. A man is no one. Uh, yeah, it was like. Even if he is. There's Ed Sheeran team. playing a song. Uh, let's, a wank. I, I let's be honest. If if you were in a position like Ed Sheeran was, where you're minted as fuck and you have the potential to get yourself a shitey cameo on your favorite TV show, you're gonna do it. No, I wouldn't. 
Don't Jeez, lie to me. I am totally weird. Because you admitted you don't need it for the money. Well, so you're not doing it for the money. Exactly. You, yeah, you want to be on Game of Thrones. You're going to be on Game of Thrones. It, to me, it's a, you're a liar. suspension of disbelief. No, I yeah, would be made up, though. I, 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 I would, I would made make sure to stay in character. Like yeah, I, I wouldn't want to just have Ed Sheeran from modern day. I don't day. Play a big old scar across my face. And then turning and looking into the camera and going, it's a new one. The cameo should have been better than that, but that's not him. That's the writer. That's not, yeah, that's not his fault. I'd be proper like big beard, different colour hair, maybe a scar. Do the Mastodon approach where okay, you get Tim, two appearances like and no one even notices. Yeah. Uh. Mastodon, the band, they appeared at Hard Home as uh, wildlings and were killed. I had a friend in Hard Home as a wildling. Do you have friends with Mastodon? Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just, on a side note, I'm not friends with Mastodon either, and we've spoken for at least the last two hours. I don't know how you feel about that. I think I know what you're saying. We should probably wrap up. Because yes. it's cold in the north. Yes, and winter is coming. So, would you like to do your sign-off? Do you have anywhere that you want the people to follow you at? Yeah. Yeah. At least say your name. <laughs> Paul. Say the your name into the podcast. microphone. And website. Well, that was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, Paul's not on social media. Shameless. Oh, point. right. You, oh, you're so lucky. I wish I was on social media. Such a Luddite. Such a Luddite. A troglodyte. See, you can follow me on WhatsApp if you've got my number. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have my number, so don't. <laughs> yeah. See, I wish I wasn't on social media, but I've got to hold these podcasts all over the place to these idiots. Oh, it's still recording. Oh, my God. Oh, these my God. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have you got the social medias? I have some of them, yeah. Yes, would you like to maybe list some I of them or some. even list the. Um... You can find me at Facebook, uh, Twitter, and the Buff Geek Podcast blog at wordpress.com. So wordpress.com. wordpress.com, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a long one. Yeah, you can find me there, uh, Kev Kermath or Kejin, K E Z I J I N. I was really excited for ages because I thought there was someone really interacting good on the SoundCloud. <laughs> and then, uh, not it's to, just me. Not to say it was just you, but I was just like, this me. guy's got some good shit here. <laughs> I know him! Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> that's even better! So disappointing. Sign off. Thanks for listening, guys. You'll find me at DStoby, the usual places. You'll also get us, as it's been said many times, at the Buff Geek Podcast blog at WordPress.com. What was that? Buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com You must again. the at the start. The buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com They just drill on it in you. Go on, you say it this time and see if you can get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boss, I don't have to. Over to you, you, big man. You can tell us where the website is. The buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com I am Brandroid. <laughs> I am also the Night King. <laughs> sometimes. So, sometimes. You know nothing, John Doe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait... Hey, did I disagree with the fact that I know nothing? I do know that Alpha Fitness sponsors this podcast and every single other one of these motherfuckers. Do you do segues? Because my God, that was beautiful. It was pretty nice, eh? It was pretty nice. Anyway, hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Come back soon for Kev's review of It Movie. They all float down here.